watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. I'm just going to jump right back into adventure mode as we normally do to start. See if we can get over 70% on this adventure map today. We finished the entire top left, which apparently this was like the final map or something of the thing. Where we had to fight Ganon as a boss again. Let's... Who do I have to play as here? Fee? I have to play as Fee right there too. Who do I want to start as today? Let's play as Twilight Midna to start today. That's a good idea. That's a good way to start. Oh, this isn't all a devastating thing. Well, this will go quick, but let's do it anyway. But anyways, this is the first time I'm streaming this since they announced that there's another Hyrule Warriors coming out. Ooh, hello. What is this using? Three dead night ashes and then a lot of Dodongo crystals? See his bracelet? We can actually knock out two of these. Don't mind if I do. Now we just need a lot more re-dead night ashes. You're almost done with your defense stuff. That's really nice. What do you need for these? The Dungo Claws and more ashes. Yeah, we just need a lot of re-dead night ashes. Oh, I should have looked at this. Yeah, yeah. If I had kept those re-dead night ashes, I could have gotten Ferrari's win three, which would have been better probably. Whatever, it's fun. But uh, yeah, they announced that they're doing Hyrule Warriors like Age of Calamity, so it's not like a sequel to this game in any way from what I can tell. It's like, it's meant to be a prequel to Breath of the Wild, but it's made by Koei Tecmo, which are the people who do like all the Warriors games, all the Dynasty Warriors games, etc. And they're the ones who did this game. So it's made by the same people that made this game, which means I'm very excited for it. I am worried that it's not going to be quite as good as this one because it's meant to be a prequel to Breath of the Wild and... My main worry right now is that it's not going to have as much character diversity as this Hyrule Warriors does. But regardless of what they do with it, like, it's made by the same developers, it looks nice, and, uh, I am excited. How did I get hit there? You hit me. I gotta pay attention for a second here. But, uh, I'm excited for it, and I plan on playing it as soon as it comes out, which I actually think it comes out. Ha! <laughs> ah, what a great start. But, uh, I actually think it comes out, like, a week, either before or after, that is the wrong thing, before or after KH Melody of Memory, so I'm gonna be playing, playing them back to back, that'll be pretty neat. And now I'm actually gonna, like, focus a little bit so that I don't, you know, die. Because there's no reason to be dying on these maps, they're pretty easy. Hi, Fiery Arapos. I tried to get fancy with it by doing some of Impa's, like, big range... Or not Impa, this is, uh, Midna. Sometimes I say Impa for some reason. But I was trying to do some of Midna's fancy long-range moves to just take a bunch of them out, and that led to me getting hit like an idiot. Go away, all of you. You have no purpose here. That almost got me. I have to defeat 20 of these nerds. And now they're all the way over on the other side of the map again. Uh, that's... Wait a minute, I don't think I have to kill this, do I? No, it's a transport captain, doesn't matter. Four more dudes over here, we got it. Blaze, welcome to stream. Orpheus, welcome to stream. How you guys doing? Yeah, I don't remember the exact release dates, but Melody of Memory and... And Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, I believe it's called. They're both coming out in November. I do not remember the exact dates for the life of me, but I'm pretty sure they're like a week apart. There we go. That's how it should have gone the first time. Give me that. AK1R, welcome to stream. Duke Flare, welcome to stream as well. Give me that heart container. Make Twilight Midna even more powerful. You love to see it. Boom. Age of Calamity comes out November 20th. Melody of Memories is November 11th. Oh, that's pretty good, actually, then. Especially since Melody of Memory comes out first. Melody of Memories is just a... It's a rhythm game, so I imagine it's not super long. Probably. So, nine days with Melody of Memories before Age of Calamity comes out is a pretty good amount, I would say. If Age of Calamity is anything like Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, then... It won't have a super long story mode, but it'll have tons of content overall. I need an ice arrow for this. 
give me that. Bum, 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 bum. Shoot it. Got it. Been playing this on my Switch. Have it on 3DS and got tons of stuff done on 3DS. Now I'm trying to do the same on Switch. Yeah, I never had it on 3DS, but I had it on Wii U. And I did a ton on the Wii U. And have ever since been slowly doing more and more stuff in the Switch version as well. Capture the enemy keeps. Oh, dude, this is going to give us the level 3 now, Yanata. Don't mind if I do. Let's get that done. I want that Naginata. No, I'm not going to waste my big pole lanterns on that. Not when there's other stuff I still need it for. Alright, let's just get it then. No point in trying to make a good weapon here if we don't even have one, because we're about to, uh, yeah, do that. We're about to, um, unlock the level 3 weapon. I'm on the Master Quest map right now, so the third adventure map in the game. We're over halfway done with it. Begin the battle! What's up, nerds? Burn. The stupid Gibdo thinks he stands a chance against me. The almighty Shika. Later. Thank you. Another Gibdo! They never told me there could be more than one. Oh my word, it died. It, it died so fast. What the heck are all these Goron doing here? I didn't know I had such an impressive army on my side. Later. Yo, was that a Gibdo sword right there? Amazing, if true. Alright, step one, take the keep that's right in front of you. Good start. Love it. I really hope the next form of her, Naginata, looks awesome. Because this one is pretty cool. Later. I was really hoping that would hit the key boss. This will do it, though. So honestly can't believe how much uh, content are in Warrior Games. Well, it's really easy because uh, Warrior Games are so incredibly... Um, a consistent gameplay loop. It's really easy to just turn it into more, like, checklist stuff. Which is good. I'm not saying it's bad. Because it's great. I love it. I love how much there's, like, still things to do in the game that are, like... It's the same basic concept and whatnot, but it's still like, ah, oh, but you have to... You got these little modifiers added on, and there's still so many, like, maps to complete all of it, etc., etc. It's really good. They did their, they had a, uh... They did very, very well with the gameplay loop that they had. Because if you enjoy this game, there's just, like, so, so much you can keep doing in it. can play this game for so long and still feel like you're, like, getting somewhere or accomplishing something out of it. What do you think you're gonna do here, Stallmaster? You really think you stand a chance against me? Against Impa? You fool? Aw, oh, I love Link's Spinner. Spinner is one of my favorite weapons, too. It's probably... Probably my second favorite Link weapon. It's incredibly basic, but I still do prefer the Master Sword, just because the Master Sword is so easy to use and, uh, etc, etc. And is really good at clearing out enemies. It's really good at, like, clearing out enemies, attacking single enemies, etc, etc. It can do it all, basically. So I'm a big fan of it. But after it, the Spinner is definitely my second favorite. Is there a backlog for the KH1 Redux? Yes. I believe there were two streams. All of the first stream is on YouTube, and none of the second stream is. I haven't uploaded any of the second stream yet because I haven't rendered it. Because I did two streams that back-to-back. -back. So probably some of that second stream will be going up tomorrow. Not all of it is going to get to YouTube before the next stream on Friday. But you can watch the VOD on Twitch if you want to catch up before the next stream. I have not played any other Warrior games other than this, no. This is the only Warrior game I've played. I've never done any Dynasty Warrior stuff. 
I didn't play Fire Emblem Warriors. I saved Goron Captain, my dear friend, thank goodness. I really want to play uh, Persona Scramble if they just send it to the West already. I hope they do soon. I'm not planning on playing the Avengers game, no. Kind of decided against it. By the time it came out, I just wasn't that interested anymore. Gather round, fools, and burn. How did I not kill you in that? How did you live that explosion of fire? All right, took that one back. Probably do want to, like, clean out over here at the the middle right, top right, etc. Were there any Scatullas I need to get on this map? I don't think there are. Pretty sure we just got to get the A rank. Bum, 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 later. Do you plan to play Baldur's Gate 3 when it releases, or the old ones? No. I feel like I've heard of Baldur's Gate before, but I know nothing about it, so no. I don't even know what those games are about. I don't even know what kind of games they are. I'm pretty full up for the rest of 2020 now. Because in November, I got Melody of Memories and Age of Calamity coming out back to back. And, uh... A lot of people in chat the other day said they wanted to watch me play the Super Mario Super Mario uh, 3D All-Stars thing, so I'm going to be playing that in a couple of days. And then I'm redoing a lot of my old KH Let's Plays, so... What is it? We're, like, coming up on the middle of September right now? Like, I'm definitely full for the rest of September and probably most of October with the things that I just said. And I, st I mean, I still have to finish Persona 3. I don't know how much longer Persona 3 is going to take. I'm probably only about halfway through that game. And then when November hits, two new games coming out in November, I'm going to be playing. So I'm not really planning or looking for any other new games in the near future. Plus, I'm doing the Battle Network games in my own time just for YouTube. So I love when... The graphics get a little glitched there, and I use the fire Naginatsas, but they don't show up on screen. Oh, it's like a Divinity game. No, I have no interest in that. I know what Divinity is, and I've seen Divinity gameplay, and it looks neat, but it's not something that I'd want to do personally. I'm not into that, like, uh, Divinity style of, of RPG. Bye, Stallmaster. Get away from my outpost. It belongs to me. None of you can have it. There's so many. Yo, we got another silver material on that Stallmaster. That's amazing. Getting some really good silver materials today. But anyways, yeah, so... Really, those are all of the upcoming plans for playthroughs I have. Is more Battle Network, which will be YouTube only. Uh, the Mario 3D All-Stars that comes out in, like, what, a week and a half? Two weeks? And then redoing the KH playthroughs, as well as finishing Persona 3. And then November comes around, and we'll be doing Age of Calamity and... Uh, Age of Calamity and Melody of Memories. So that's that's my 2020 pretty much set. I don't know if anything else is going to uh, be coming out because I know Tales of Arise got pushed back to 2021. Digimon Survive may as well not even exist at this point because it's never going to happen. I mean, I have hope that it will, but every every day that passes, we're Bandai literally doesn't even say anything about it. My hope wanes.
But I don't think there's anything else coming out in 2020, because I, I don't feel like doing the Avengers game, so I'm not going to do that. I don't think there's anything else coming out in 2020 that I'm going to be doing. Also, I need to speed this up a bit, because we've got about six and a half minutes, a little less than six and a half minutes, to win. And I don't remember if there's, like, a big boss we have to fight after this or not. There might be, and if there is... Oh no, Goron Captain, my dear friend. If there is, I need to get to it ASAP. Goodbye, Key Boss. Oh, that was the last keep that I needed to capture. That's nice. I mean, this keep is on my way, and there's a scout captain in it, so I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna go ahead and take this down anyway, just to be safe. That didn't work exactly as planned, because Gibdos don't really take knockback. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. No more scouting for you, buddy. I don't know how, but like nine times out of ten, I end up using what I believe is the level four combo, which is the four burning Naginatas that she slams into the ground. Yeah, I love Hyrule Warriors, but definitely one of the worst parts of it is when an NPC that if they die, you lose is just like, hey, I'm losing because I suck, and then you have to get to a mace after you lose. That and then messenger missions, which is basically the exact same thing except with messengers, are definitely like the biggest weak points of Hyrule Warriors. But all of the strong points of the game outweigh that so incredibly in my eyes. Hmm. Oh, hey, Xan. How's it going, dude? Fancy seeing you here. Nice day we're having, isn't it? You got a lot of dudes in here, man. Zan, come on, dude. Do one of your combos. Yeah, here we go. That'll do. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I leveled up. I should have spammed my, uh, should have spammed that. I didn't realize I was going to level up. Tyrannosaur, welcome to stream. Yeah, we were just talking about Age of Calamity a minute ago. I am super pumped for it. Can't wait to play it. Oh, what? That was weird. I don't know what happened to Xant there. He's not having a good day. Also, Xant is not taking a lot of damage, so that leads me to believe there is no boss after this. I really hope there isn't, because if there is, we're in a bit of a rough spot. Because it's going to take me a minute to kill Xant here. Oh, dude, that was amazing. How did that work out like that? Fire! Yeah, Link's not the only one with a fire dragon, nerd. Imp has got one, too. All right, Zan's basically dead. Oh, no, not the outskirts keep. Whatever will I do without the outskirts keep? I did not do as much damage as I would have liked. I should probably keep a special bar just in case there is a boss after this. Could come in handy, if true. Ah, there we go. We're done. Perfect. Oh, did I get enough KOs? Hello, Zantelman. I hope I got enough KOs. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Welcome to Stream Sloth King. It's not like I have several hundreds worth of hours left in this game or anything. Yeah, I know, right? I still have so much to do on the adventure maps. Like, I'm, I'm still at least 100 hours away from completing all of the content in this game. Which I'm definitely not going to do before... Age of Calamity comes out, but that's fun. Ooh, Shikanaginata, I like it. That looks pretty sick. I am a fan. What don't I need here? I'm pretty sure I don't need two of the 10,000 things, so get rid of that one. That'll do. Give me all that. Got a good amount of silver materials there. 
Sloth King, did I, did I say hello to you? I can't remember if I did or not, but welcome to stream either way. If I said it twice, then congrats. You got it twice. Yeah, I'll definitely play as Lana. We gotta get a Scatella here. Let's go, Lana. It's summoning gate time, boys. What did, wait a minute, what does Lana need for these? Argarok Embers. It's always Argarok Embers. Senpai Roxas, welcome to stream. I'm not using a friggin' spear. I don't care if it's recommended. Did I get the level three summoning gate last time? I did. The gate of time. No, no, no. The gate of souls. And we actually already got a two-star version of it. So let's make that two-star version of it a really good item for getting better items. So hit me with this two-star one. And I want to take off the food requirement because that's actually like a negative in my eyes. Uh, definitely give me stars. We need stars. All right, so we got stars on it. And then we need slots. Do I have anything better than that one to give up? Because I don't want to get rid of I have a lot of other experience options, but wait, this is perfect. Stars and slots. And then, anything else I want to add on there? I mean, I have a couple of these material things. I may as well add a materials on. It'd be nice to get some extra materials as well. Although that kind of conflicts with trying to get weapons for stars and slots. Now that I think about it, but eh, whatever. Whatever. The only thing I know for certain is I want to take off that stupid food skill. Because that is more of a detriment to me than anything else. All right. We good. Let's do this. I really like your DMO series. Why did you stop? DMO. What is DMO? It's probably Digimon something. Oh, is that Digimon Masters Online? Uh, the game was boring. No offense to other people who like the game. Good for you. I'm glad you do. Enjoy it. But uh, me and all of my friends, basically, we all came together and said, like, hey, this game gets really repetitive and boring after a while, and none of us really want to play it anymore. So we stopped playing. It's basically all it came down to. Dude, this Gate of Souls looks sick. This gold and blue is so nice. I love it. Come on! Yeah, come on, Manhanla. Get in here. Get him out of here. Whoop. All right, where's my keep, boss? Taste the power of my chicken. Easy. I just love the animation of the three rings going around one another. It's so good. Can I get an Argarok, please? Argarok would really help me out against those Aeropos over there. That's not Argarok. That's still not Argarok. St I can't help but notice that every time I've asked for Argarok, I've been given Goma and now Monhanla. There we go. Don't screw up the combo. I screwed up the combo. I might still be able to get it off, though. Did I get it? I did get it just in time. Let's go. Also, the Kukos are doing something. I should probably stop that soon. Oh, I didn't time that right, Brit. It's fine. I got Argarok immediately again. You'll love to see it. Here we go, Argarok. Get him, buddy. All right, someone's dead. Yeah, there's another someone who's dead. Fire! Beautiful. You know what? Wait a minute. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah, let's just go magic it up. Earth is trying to call me. A number listed as restricted is trying to call me. I'm definitely not going to answer that in the middle of my stream. Goma. Get him, Goma. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun
really want my phone to stop vibrating. I'm not going to answer that call. Thank you. Oh, I ran out of magic. Rip. I only got 118 KOs out of that. There were not as many enemies right here as I thought there were. Give me that silver material for sure. You stupid arrow posts. I will end you. Alright, you, you flew right over that. Honestly, should have seen it coming. Dude, I love the golden summoning gate. It's so good. There are too many of my own dudes here. I can't tell what's happening. I do know that this Aeropost needs to go. Oh, hi, Impa. Oh, you can't use items on this map, Rip. It's fine because Lana is unstoppable. You're still alive? Stop that. Stop that right now. Come on. Give me Monhan. That's Argorok. I mean, I'll never be mad at seeing Argorok. He's straight up the best of the summons. Help. Alright, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Goodbye to all of you. Well, that's all been sorted out now. Another silver material. I love it. Oh, this place is all cuckooed up. What the heck is going on in here? What have you guys been doing while I was gone? Ah, Argarok, you shouldn't have. Bring it on, you stupid chickens. You're not nearly as OP in this game as you are the other Zelda games. Granted, you are still very OP. All right, that shot at basically nothing. The Kukos have stopped fighting. No, I want them to keep fighting. Keep fighting against each other until I finish you all off. Oh, they're calling for reinforcements, boys. And now they've got the top right under their control as well. Oh, hey, I own this place now. I should probably kill this. Hey, check it out. My Kuko's better than your Kuko. Yeah, my, uh, my biggest worry right now about Age of Calamity, I think I said this earlier already, but my biggest worry is that it's not going to have as robust of a roster as this game since it seems to be so heavily focused on Breath of the Wild, whereas this game was like, hey, let's bring together as many of the Zelda games as we possibly can. Hi, you all just, like, spawned in. I hear the thing near you. There it is. Mine. Thank you. And as long as I'm here, I may as well take this place. Hey, Argarok. Yeah, hopefully they still have a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't really mind if they just, like ported over some of the characters from this one with maybe some new weapons or something. I don't want them to fall back too much on just pulling from this Hyrule Warriors game, but if my options are, hey, there are only like Breath of the Wild characters, or there are Breath of the Wild characters and also we put in the characters from the other Hyrule Warriors, then I'd rather have it where they add more, they like add in the characters from this game just for the sake of having more options to use. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. I'm, you know, I got, uh, I got some faith in, in the Hyrule Warriors team. They did really well with this game. I, I trust them to do well with the next one, and we'll see how it goes. I can fly. Hi guys. Bye guys. Oh wow, they almost beat this outpost on their own. Yeah, they might do DLC to buff out the roster more. I just hope that they don't do that as, like, the main thing, you know? I don't want Age of Calamity to come out and it'd be like, yeah, there are, like, I don't know, eight characters? Like, what? they would have the four guardians, like Rivali, Urbosa, and all of them. They'd have four guardians, and then Zelda and Link. That's only six. And I don't really know who else they'd do. Like, old Ganondorf? Like, I don't know if they're gonna let... I don't know if they're going to let the Age of Calamity team use Ganondorf in any way before Breath of the Wild 2, because it seems like old Ganon is a big part of Breath of the Wild 2 from the little we've seen of it. So I'm, I am pretty worried about the roster, but that's really my only concern right now, so I hope they, they do well with it. Oh, the Kukos are at the bottom right fighting for stuff. I don't want to have to mess with that. I'm on a timer, man. Instead, I'm just going to go, like, win the map. Oh, you can fight the enemy commander already, huh? And I got the Skatulla. 
I don't think there was a hard container to get on this map, but even if there is, we have to come back to this map later. I messed up my Mon Hanma summon. Age of Calamity is a prequel to Breath of the Wild. To talk about the whole destruction of Hyrule or whatever that led into Breath of the Wild. I'm supposed to be killing the Keep Boss right now. What the heck? Wait. That was weird. Goodbye. Most of the roster for Age of Calamity, I mean, we know what happens to them. They dead. I mean, yeah. That's that's how prequels work, kind of. You normally already know, for the most part, what it's going to lead to. I mean, there's nothing they can do about that. That's, that's the only way to do a prequel to Breath of the Wild, is to know that that will happen. I'm going to be honest. I, I am normally a person who is like, the story is important to me in games I play. But, like, the story for Age of Calamity is really not that big a deal to me. I did really like the story in this game. But, you know, it's a prequel. We already know what it's going to lead into. And also, I think Breath of the Wild's story is, like, basically non-existent. Breath of the Wild has some pretty neat lore. But even then, I'm not super into it. So, I'm really not that worried about the Age of Calamity story. I more so just want another Hyrule Warriors game to play more than anything else. Why am I doing this? I don't have any things set up. There we go, Monhanla. That's better. Get him, Monhanla. There are so many big foes here. But, uh... Koei Tecmo did really well with the story for this game, actually. The story mode in this game is pretty great, in my opinion. I really like what they did. So, the only thing is, is they're probably not going to have as much freedom to do it exactly how they want with Breath of the Wild. Because, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure Nintendo is going to be pretty... I didn't mean to do that. I'm pretty sure Nintendo is going to be pretty like, hey, you know, you're doing the thing for Breath of the Wild, so the story has to go exactly like this. So hopefully it's good. I'm hoping for the best, but I'm I'm a little cautious. Breath of the Wild is basically to me low res HD Hollow Knight. What on earth does that mean? Breath of the Wild and Hollow Knight are nothing alike. It doesn't make any sense to me. The best things about Hollow Knight are fighting bosses. Breath of the Wild's maybe weakest point other than dungeon is its bosses. The bosses in Breath of the Wild are abysmal. Well, not abysmal. That's a little... That's a little too rude. They're not abysmal, but they're not very good. They're definitely not memorable. Compared to, like, Skyward Sword and, uh... Twilight Princess. Hey. Go away. What am I aiming? Oh, this Kuko. I was like, what am I aiming at? What is doing? What is happening to my camera? Goodbye. But anyways, I'm excited for it. You know. I'm cautious about some things, hoping it does well. Prepared for it to maybe... I'm gonna be real with you. I do not expect Age of Calamity to be... What am I aimed at? It's that stupid golden cuckoo. Where is it? It keeps messing up my camera. I'm definitely not expecting it to be as good as this game. I highly, highly, highly doubt Age of Calamity will be as good as Hyrule Warriors. Honestly. If it is, that's amazing. But uh, I am expecting it to be good, just not as good as, as this. But we'll see what happens, you know? I mean, the game is so close to release, there's really nothing to do but wait and see. Xant again? Xant? What's your deal, dude? Being a real nerd today. Yeah, please no Tingle. <laughs> that, is, that is one of my requests as well. I do not want Tingle to be in Age of Calamity. 
Oh, I've never seen AI Zant use that move that I can remember. Not that I can recall. Also, the summoning gate isn't really good for, uh, specifically for breaking Zant's weak points. Help. Alright, that kind of worked. Bring it on, Zant. Bring it on. Oh, this move is easy to break him on. Oh, he was automatically broken. Nice. Yeah, summoning gate isn't the best. Especially for Zant, where you have to do guarding first. They're both lore-based games. It's basically explore the world. Yeah, I mean, I guess. The exploring in... Honestly, I preferred exploring stuff in... In Hollow Knight compared to Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild had too much, honestly, in my eyes. Breath of, let me rephrase that. Breath of the Wild had too much exploring that was not meaningful in any way. I felt like whenever I found something really cool in Hollow Knight, it was like, yo, that's sick. And then it normally led to a boss or something similar. In Breath of the Wild, there was just a lot of walking across a long plane or something, or going up a mountain, and then it being like, uh, yeah, maybe there's a, uh, a temple or shrine thing or whatever they're called up here that you can go into to get a, to get another power-up point or whatever, skill point. I, dude, it's been a long time since I played Breath of the Wild. I played that game back in 2017, I think I haven't touched it since. Which is what some, I know some people, that's what they loved, but for me, it got really... Not boring, but, uh... Just not very interesting, I guess. We just point a Breath of the Wild as it takes too long? Nah, you can do, uh... I mean, you can go... You can literally beat Breath of the Wild in an hour. If you're good enough to beat... Ganon without weakening him first. I think the weakest point of Breath of the Wild is lack of dungeons. Like, they went too... I was talking about this the other day with the boys, but they went too far on Breath of the Wild. They went too far into free-roaming exploration. They didn't have enough of the normal Zelda feel of, like, good dungeons, and... I don't know. I, I feel like... I might be in the minority in the gaming world now, but then there's a lot of times some people, as soon as I say this, they're like, oh no, I actually kind of agree with you. But there is definitely a contingent of people who play video games who are just like, I want complete freedom to do whatever I want, whenever I want, etc., etc., and linearity bad. I don't want to be told I have to go this way to proceed the story or anything like that. And uh, Breath of the Wild did that, and that's why a lot of people love it, I feel. But for me personally, I like linearity in video games. Maybe, you know, I'm, I'm cool with some free roaming capability. I think there needs to be like a good balance. Like obviously the best of both worlds is the best. But, uh, oh, we got to see his Master Quest outfit, nice. But uh, I like having a level of linearity of telling me like, okay, this is the general area I need to be going to next. It's gonna precede the storyline to do etc etc i need more compasses which breath of the wild i mean breath of the wild tells you you need to go to the uh you gotta go to the four giant things the the four giant divine beasts but uh i feel like the biggest problem with breath of the wild was the dungeons were all very similar and kind of boring they weren't, like, awful, but they're definitely some of the... The Breath of the Wild Divine Beast dungeons are some of the weakest dungeons in recent Zelda years. We gotta play as Wizro, and we'll bring Volga with us. Yeah, Breath of the Wild also had really bad enemy variety. They copy and pasted a lot of enemies after a while. Because I'm pretty sure back when I was playing Breath of the Wild... Like, there's, uh, what are they called? The Lynels? Like, after you learn how to beat a Lionel in Breath of the Wild, you no longer have any trouble in that game. It's kind of like Easy Street from there on. None of the bosses are very challenging. 
in my humble opinion. I'm pretty sure I beat every Ganon Blight and Ganon himself first try, except for the Desert one, the Desert Ganon Blight. And the only reason I lost to him is because I didn't understand that you could use the Magnet to pick up his Lightning Pillars. And as soon as someone in chat said, hey, you can pick up the Lightning Pillars, then I immediately won after that, which was on my second attempt. Did I get your third ring? I did, didn't I? I remember doing that. Yeah, yeah, the big green one. Let's uh, do some smithy work real quick. But like, once you learn how to beat a Lionel, which is very satis satisfying to beat Lionels, to like figure out exactly how to dodge them and then do the super like anime rapid attack thing. Very, very fun. But after you learn how to beat a Lionel, there's like nothing else difficult in that game. It's all easy street and starts to almost feel a little repetitive, at least in my personal experience. I need slots. I want slots and stars, please. Do I have a stars option on you? I do. There we go. Experience slots and stars. That'll do for now. Thank you, Wizro. Hopefully we'll get a better magical ring for you soon. And then let's bring Volga with us because why not? Didn't I get your level 3 weapon recently, too? I think I did. Yeah, the Flesh Render Fang, and I've already got a thing set up with stars and slots. Nice. Which enemy is the best for you? In, in what? Breath of the Wild? I mean, the Lynels were very fun to fight. All of the bosses were kind of a letdown. From what I remember. It's been a long while since I played it. It's been a hot minute. Defeat the two Dark Lanas. I can do that. Prepare to get beaten, Dark Lana. What's your really good combo for clearing places out? Level 3? Yeah, it does pretty well. Lana! I must destroy you! And all that you stand for? Here, taste the darkness. Whoop. Breath of the Wild was a good game. It was fun, for one playthrough at least. But it definitely had a lot of issues that I feel like a bunch of people just hand wave because they love the game too much. Which, I mean, if they love the game, good for them. I'm glad they had more fun with it than I did. But I do feel a lot of the time whenever I see people talking about... Uh, Breath of the Wild, they basically just consider it the best game ever made, and I'm like, come on, man. Like, it's good. But it's not that good. Hello. I am Volga. You will die. Had a lot of trouble beating Water Blight, but I got all the others first try. Dude, I'm gonna be real with you. I like, I remember roughly. Ooh, we got a golden lot of material. I remember roughly what all the Ganon Blights look like because they all looked insanely similar to one another. But uh, I don't really remember the fights. Which just goes back to what I was saying about their incredibly not memorable. I'm just really hoping Breath of the Wild 2 does a lot better with uh, dungeons and bosses in general. That's my only major thing that I'm like, please do this better. But you know, we'll see. We'll see. I, I killed 96 enemies with that? That's insane. Oh man. Volga does not care. Is there a boss? Oh, hi! Where did you come from, Unhandler? Can I get them all with that? Nice. Wait, 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 dragon. Unhandler takes so long using the dragon is actually really good on him. Still was a little slow on that. It's fine, I can make it up with this. You just gotta level up too, nice. Get him, Volga! Oh my word, he's dead. Monhanla's dead as heck. I may as well throw out some magic, why not? 
Getting so many kills. Argorok! Who invited Argorok to the party? And now King Dodongo is on his way. Hi, King Dodongo! How you doing, bud? Oh, dear. Dodongo, stop rolling forward. I need, to, I need you to do the fire move. Or you know what? I'll just do this. Check out my sick moves! This is gonna be way too slow. Like, insanely too slow for too little payout. I should not have done that. That was insanely not worth it. I think I'm still gonna get away with this. Maybe, if that broke it. Oh yeah, look at that. I should not have gotten away with this. Well, the Dongo's dead. Sucks to be him. In what was like the worst kill in history. I hope I just got a silver material and not a gold, because I actually have way too many Dodongo crystals and not near enough Dodongo claws. I think I have like two or three characters waiting on getting more Dodongo claws. Nice! Goodbye, Argorok. Also, I don't need gold materials from Argorok anymore either. I need the Argorok Embers. It's actually like the only time I don't want to be getting gold. There are so many of these creeps. This is a really good level for, for a really good map for getting level ups. So many enemies spawn. This is insane. Why are there so many of them? May as well throw the magic back out. Boost my rupees experience, etc. Why not? Already up to 100. Volga is a 100 KO character? Really? Instead of a 130? That's... Oh my goodness. That's weird. I wonder what the reason for that is. Is the dragon move taking so long, maybe? Hey, it beat a Donopus. As soon as I start procking my magic, I start to run out of enemies to kill. Got. I'm a dragon. Yo, that's sick. Love that. Let's play as Wizro for a little bit. How did my Volga get so low on HP? When was I taking damage as Volga? When did that happen? Yeah, I've taken a small chunk of damage there. Wizro is also a uh, 100 KO character, it seems. Not sure why, but whatever. Hey, level up. Taste the true power of darkness. I don't care about a transport captain. Get that out of there. Hi, guys. It's me, here to kill you. Oh, goodbye. Dude, I love this giant green ring. It's so big on Wizro's finger. I'm over 2,400 kills. In like six minutes, that's crazy. Yo, was that another Icy Big Poe Lantern? Oh, hi, Zelda. You're weak to darkness, I believe, so it is a bad time for you to be here. Whoop. Oh my word, she's almost dead. Oh, and Sheik's here too? She might be weak to darkness, I don't know. I don't know what else Sheik would be weak to. Oh, Impa's here. I'm like 90% sure she's weak to darkness. There are too many enemies here. I realize this is a Warriors game, but my word, this is a lot more than usual. Magic. Yeah, clap my hands. Now you're done. My combo went too fast. I didn't use the move I was trying to. There we go. Impa, you gotta go, girl. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, it has to be this way. Give me that level up. Easy gains. Oh, the golden food. Why are you wasting my time? I don't even use the stupid fairy thing. I still don't understand how it works. Where is Oshik's way over there? Pick up this magic on the way. Try and make it last until I get to her. Oh, she's going down this way. Dang it, I went the wrong way. Sheik, get back here. Hi, Sheik. She has her highest level harp, I think. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you love to see it. Darkness. Oh, she's dead. Oh, oh, geez. She's like, she super died there. That's crazy. What is with all this boosted morale? How do you guys have boosted morale? I've been destroying you. Yeah, that's what I thought. You get that boosted morale out of here. Honestly, I like playing as Volga more than I like playing as Wizro, but I want to play as Wizro more because this this level is giving me easy experience games. And Wizro needs levels more than Volga. Although it's not like Volga doesn't also need more levels. He's only like level 60 or something. Oh no, an all-out attack. Whatever shall I do? I love when Wizro goes, sha, 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 sha. I don't know why, but I, I love it. How do you guys still have morale up? It doesn't make any sense to me. How do you keep getting this morale? Yo, that was a Dynapo silver material. You love to see it. Nice. Oh, goodbye. Beautiful. I didn't even get 300 kills there, really. How did I not get up to 300? I mean, we're going to break 3,500 kills. I also love these little demon things that Wizro summons. Oh, come on. Give me enough enemies. I want to get Wizro to level 56 before this level ends. If possible, they're all over next to Volga. And Volga's dangerously low on health. Actually, I need to get over there and protect them. Or play as them, one or the other. All right, last 20-ish seconds. Magic time. Volga, there are so many. What have you been doing over here, dude? Oh, I'm getting that level up. I'm getting that level. Yeah, I am. Let's go. I keep trying to use the level 3 combo, but it always comes out as the level 4 because my moves come out too fast. Oh, perfect time for the magic ender. Hurry, hurry! Oh, my goodness. The animation took too long. I didn't get the last of the kills. That sucks. Oh, well. That went insanely well, Volga. Good job. Well done by us. Just two bros hanging out, murdering thousands of enemies. That's how it be. Hey. Easy piece of heart. Man, those nightmare creatures look cool. Bum, bum, bum. Dude, look at all of this. Lana's Cloak, Argarok Stone, Manhanla's Sapling, another big Poe Talisman, Dynapost Arm Guard, which I actually have a lot of, Sheik's Kunai, Zelda's Brooch, the Dongo Claws, which I'm in desperate need of. That was an incredibly good level for us. Ooh, Young Link's level 3 would actually be pretty sick. What are these? Girahim is really good, Toon Link, eh. I don't mind playing as Toon Link, but he's like mid-tier for me. Don't we have Ganondorfs? Yeah, we got Ganondorf here. You know what? I've been avoiding this for so long because I hate Agatha, but we we should really get this done. Let's eventually it's gotta be done. I don't wanna I don't wanna keep avoiding it and then have it be like one of the last maps we have to do. So let's get the Agatha one done, and then we get to play as Ganondorf. So it'll balance out. Capture the enemy keeps no healing. Let's just get it over with. Oh, we can max out your defensive stuff. That's neat. I actually have a lot of Dynapos arm guards to be able to do that, but I don't want to bother. What do you need for these? Imprison scales. A lot of them. 
I'm actually going to go ahead and put you up to level 50 because I hate playing as you, so the stronger you are, the better. So that way I can get through fights with you quickly. Let's do this. See what kind of a... What kind of an umbrella you get at the end of this one. I never would have guessed that the name Summoner meant that they could spawn new units. I like how they say spawn new units instead of just saying summon new units. What's your strong attack? Oh no, your strong attack summons the butterfly, doesn't it? I hate the butterfly. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. There are some people who like playing as Agatha, and if you do, then, you know, good for you. I'm glad you like it, but she's definitely, like, one of my absolute least favorite characters in the game. She might be my least favorite character in the game. I'm trying to think. Uh, I might like playing as Agatha more than normal Midna. I hate Tingle because he's disgusting, but, uh, Tingle's combos are much better to play with than, uh, Agatha or Midna. So as much as I hate Tingle, he's not the very bottom of the barrel. Because at least I'm not like bored playing as him. Mostly because I like his rolling move. I think it's neat. I'm convinced Agatha is primarily a meme character. Yeah, I, I agree. So we don't want to like play around on this level at all, basically. We want to get our 1500 KOs. Make sure we don't take too much damage, and then beat the beat the boss. The only major thing is I gotta make sure I don't accidentally I don't accidentally forget to get the 1500 KOs because I try and speed run it too much. But yeah, Agatha on quiz battle sucks. Is this the heart container? Oh, that was fast. This probably is not the best order to be doing this in, by the way, but it's the order we're going to do it in. Also, Agatha's attack stat just sucks. <laughs> Seems like she can never get KOs in a quick manner. At least not as manner as quick as I'd like. Like, she can't one-shot outpost captains with a combo move, it seems like. Or with just spamming her basic combo, at least. Which I feel like she should be able to do. That level one combo? Oh, our level one combo is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually that comes out really fast. I should try using that more often. All of our other combos are really slow, but they also hit wider areas. Like that one. You're welcome, fairy of lightning. Did I actually pick up the fairy? I did. Look at all of these freaks! There are so many of them. How on earth will they ever live with themselves after losing to Agatha? It's, it's so embarrassing. No, not Hillian, Captain. I needed him. He was vital to my strategy. Like, how do you ever expect me to be able to win without a Hillian, Captain? Hey, get down. Get down from there, I said. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. To all of you. There have been a lot of rumors going around, by the way, chat on the internet, about uh, the potential of, like, a Switch Pro style thing coming out next year. Man, I hope it's true. I would love to have a Switch that is stronger than the basic one. Because I was having a little bit of slowdown right there on Hyrule Warriors. I would definitely be interested in buying a stronger Switch. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Volga is in trouble? Volga, are you kidding me right now, dude? Like, are you for real? How are you in trouble? How did 
Agatha obtain all of these magical insect powers? Like, what did she do to get this? Dude, juggling this Aeropost is pretty hilarious. And then I misclicked. Goodbye, Volga! Alright, I need to get up there and stop that soon. It'll really help out with my KOs anyway. There's so many strong enemies that have the aura thing going on. Stop it. I'm gonna juggle you here in a second. Yep, prepare to get juggled. Dang it, I misclicked again. I keep messing up the juggle. Whoops. Hi. Give me that weak point, give me that weak point. Thank you. Goodbye. No, you're dead. Yeah, I was about to say, get out of here. No more of that. Dude, Agatha's like... Her attack power is just too low. It makes her battles feel so much longer. As a result. I hate it. That level 1 combo, it comes out really fast, but it doesn't have near enough range. In a group of enemies. Seems pretty good against a single enemy like this to just juggle them, though. Although it keeps their health bar, like, off the screen, so I can't really tell if it's doing very well or not. I don't even need this keep, but I'm here, so I'm gonna take it. And then we gotta make our way up to the allied base, because they're getting too close to it. Oh, powerful enemies have appeared from the allied keeps, or the enemy keeps, rather. It'd be a lot cooler if they didn't. Agatha, you don't even have the level 2 Ferrari's win, do you? That's why it's taking you so long to take this keep. Yeah, like, Agatha's attack power is low, and also it feels like her combos are fairly slow overall. It's like, it's a horrible combination of low attack power and slow combos. It just makes me feel like I'm taking seven years to get through a match with her. Get out of here. She did the hundred Scatullas in Ocarina of Time. Who let her get away with that? She shouldn't have been given that power. Oh, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. That's very good. What convenient timing on that one. Hello. I need you to be dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I oh, get off the stupid butterfly, you idiot. I missed my chance for that. Rip. I didn't get to hit the weak point either. Beautiful. You know what? Just, just get out. Verdant, welcome to stream. How's it going, dude? You haven't missed much. We're just doing adventure map stuff. Making progress and all that. What would you want to see from a more powerful Switch? I'm not as worried about 4K, but I know a lot of people want to see it. I'm like, I'm not uh, worried about 4K specifically. I just want a stronger Switch in general so that it can run, just run better graphics in general. And have, uh, not, not even necessarily graphics, I shouldn't word it like that. More specifically, like any level of stutter or slowdown. Specifically in this game, I also, uh, it was few and far between, but there were some times in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive where it felt like the Switch was holding it back a little bit when you were fighting a lot of enemies at once. My boy Michael said that he noticed uh, quite a few issues. Not a, not a lot, but just here and there, he had noticed a few times where it's like, hey, the Switch is having some trouble running uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive. Goodbye. Hello, I'm on a giant butterfly. Aussie oh, is in trouble. I can't allow that. Sorry, goodbye. I'm not looking for anything crazy. Like, I don't expect it to be on the level of, like, the... I don't even really expect it to be on the... Well, it should kind of get to the level of PS4. Now that PS5 and Xbox are coming out, I don't expect it to be as strong as, like, the PS4... Or not PS4, uh, the PS5 or the, the new Xbox or anything like that. That's crazy. Like, Nintendo, with the way they do stuff, they're never going to reach that level. Not, at least they're never going to reach that level at the same time as Xbox or PlayStation. 
but just uh, if, it could, if it could be pumped up a little bit to be able to help with some times where it might have slow down or to give uh, to give uh, game developers the ability to go deeper with it graphics wise a little bit that'd be really nice I'm not expecting a giant blow up just uh, a bit better Strong three and five are good for damage. What is, is three not what I think it is? This is three? That one, really? What's her strong five? I normally use her level four combo. Four, five. Is, wait, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think there's a five. I'd expect it to be the scale of what new 3DS was to original, uh, writ words, original 3DS. I never had the new 3DS, but yeah. That sounds about right. I, uh, I haven't bought, uh, I have a PS4. So, like, most, like, third-party things, like, my Switch is mostly just Nintendo stuff. But I know that there, uh, people have said there have been plenty of, like, performance issues and stuff with, um, not, like, super major from what I've heard, but for games that have been ported over to Switch that are pretty high in graphics, it's, like, not phenomenal. It's got some issues. So, like, I feel like the Switch should get to the point to where it can handle stuff like that. Goodbye. Three is the Beetle. One. Two. One, two, three. Three is the Hurricane. Four is the beat. Unless I don't understand the numbering conventions of these moves, which is entirely possible. Oh no, not that keep. Oh wait, that's actually bad. I need that one. Oh my word, I have more than enough kills. What am I doing on time? Oh dear. We gotta like hyper speed. Dude, Agatha is, like, the slowest character in this game. Thank you. Go, 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 go. The game notation is weird. The number strong attack means the number button X is. So YYX is three. I see. I always just count it. That makes sense. I always just count it as how many... As how many times I pressed Y. But what you're saying makes sense. I'm definitely still going to say it the way I always do because I've played over like 800 hours of this game. Maybe not that many. But counting the Wii U version, I've played like over 300 hours of this game. So there's no way I'm going to break that habit. But I understand what you're saying. And you're definitely probably right. And that's how it's supposed to be done. Oh, did they take that keep over there? Dude, I'm screwed. Unless the boss I have to fight is weak to light. Or lightning, rather. We're gonna have to do this level again. Dude, I just hate Agatha. Agatha is so terrible to play. This is going to be quick to take, at least. That is not the combo I meant to do. Help. I'm pressing the L button too much. Go away. Alright. No, no, no. Go. There, There's no way. It's going to take me, like, 30 seconds just to get to the keep boss. Let alone beat the keep boss in less than a minute. Definitely dislike playing as Agatha, but not as much as Tingle. I mean, I really have, like, Tingle, Normal Midna, and Agatha are all bottom of the barrel. I think Agatha is my least favorite, personally. 
because I like Tingle's level 3 combo. Oh, it's freaking Ganondorf. All right, it's fine. Just beat him in 50 seconds. Oh, he actually took a lot of damage there. That's either really good or really bad. It could be really good because it means I'm going to be able to kill him in like 40 seconds. But it's probably really bad because I bet it means that uh, there is another boss after you. Most likely. He's dying way too fast. There's got to be another boss. But man, wouldn't it be cool if there wasn't? Oh my goodness, there wasn't. I got away with it. I never should have gotten away with it. They actually made Ganondorf the weakest man alive for this fight. And video game, I appreciate it greatly. Thank you so much for saving me from having to do this level again. I can't believe I got away with that. I most definitely should not have. Willie, welcome to stream. Which is better, an invincible warrior who could fight a god but is whiny, or a mighty warrior who's far from invincible but is humble and wise? I mean, I, I guess the second one. Oh joy, the Princess Paracel. Exactly what I always wanted. Agatha really just beat Ganondorf, the Lord of Darkness, in less than a minute, and then ripped the jewel off of his forehead and said, this is mine now. Like, can you believe this? That's insane. Yo, let's get the level three trident. Fork it over. What does this use? Yeah, I don't want to use those stall master skulls right now. Dude, it's always Goma's acid and Goma's lenses. Goma, please, I need more of your stuff. What do you need for attack? Also Goma's acid. I literally just need six Goma's Acid and I could fix all of, I could finish all of his attack badges. You hate to see it. All right, let's do this. It doesn't matter what I use really because we're gonna have a new weapon after this. Hyrule Warriors is a great game. I'm excited for Age of Calamity. I'm trying to make sure my enthusiasm for it is curbed. I'm not expecting it to be quite at the level of Hyrule Warriors overall, but I am expecting it to be a good game worth playing. And that's really all I can ask for. Who knows? Maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe they'll actually like just make a better Hyrule Warriors. But I love this game so much that it'd be surprising, to say the least. Time to die. <laughs> it was not intentional for me to make a pun at all, and how dare you say that I made a pun. Why? Why must that have been brought up? Will you die? Thank you. I got the game is saying, oh, look. 90% of item transporter's health is gone. You've discovered him. Yeah, I discovered him a while ago. He's almost freaking dead, dude. Did the wrong combo there. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, Belmont. Is, like, my main worry about the Age of Calamity is the amount of characters and how much variety there is. Which is why, because I mean, like, one of the biggest things I love the most about Hyrule Warriors, and part of what I think, because Hyrule Warriors, its gameplay is very, like, I don't want to say repetitive, because it has a negative connotation, but I mean, it is. It is repetitive, but it's fun. Like, it's a, it's a really good gameplay loop. If you like it, you know. Warriors games aren't for everyone. Like, I've always said this. Anyone who tells me they don't like Hyrule Warriors, I'm just like, you probably just don't like Warriors games. And that, that's fair. They're not for everyone. But uh, one of the best things about Hyrule Warriors that despite the, like, continuous gameplay being relatively the same overall, that makes it so much fun and, like, able to be played over and over again, for me at least, is the big variety of characters and different combos and stuff you can do with them. So, you know. If uh, Age of Calamity doesn't really have that, 
then that's that's a major hit against the game's longevity, I guess I should say. Because, I mean, I've been playing Hyrule Warriors. I'm, I don't know if I got a day of release when it came out on Wii U. I got the Switch version day of release. But, like, I got the Wii U version really long time ago. Played it a ton. And then they put the Definitive Edition on Switch, and I played it a ton since then. Like, this game, it's really fun, and it's something that you can really just, like, you can stop playing for a while, and then, for me at least, immediately come back to and pick back up and get back into it. So, my main worry is that Age of Calamity might not have that level of, you know, just playing it over and over again. That's my biggest concern, but of course, the game comes out in November, so I'm, I'm pretty much, like, I know I'm gonna buy it, I'm just at the point where I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen, for November to hit, and then to play it and see what happens. Hoping for the best. Hey, someone's raiding. Fudgeworth TM, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to stream, raiders and whatnot. Glad to have you guys. Welcome to stream. Glad to have you. I don't think I have any mods in chat right now to do the shout-out command. I'll do that myself in a second. In just a moment, I'm in the middle of murdering this man. And by man, I mean ghost. So it's gonna take just a second. Oh, did I just lose because Lana fled? Oh, I did. I didn't realize Lana was, uh... Was a whatchamacallit. That's fine. Let me do this, uh... There's nothing better than being raided by new viewers, and then the first thing they see is me losing at a video game. Let me do this shout out real quick. There we go. Where were you playing, Fudgeworth? How'd your stream go? This time I'm not gonna let Lana die, by the way. That's, that's the new strat. It was 100% because I was not paying attention. I was too busy talking. What was I thinking? Trying to commentate during my my let's play. Thank the Lich King for pointing me in your way. Thank you, Lich King. Much appreciated. This is the Switch version. Yeah, Definitive Edition. Which, for some reason, doesn't have a... Uh, doesn't have a thing on Twitch. The only Hyrule Warriors option on Twitch is Hyrule Warriors. They don't have separate things for the 3DS version, the Wii U version, or the Switch version. So, I am playing Definitive Edition, but I just, it doesn't show up on the thing. Yo, Raptor, welcome to stream. Raptor, where were you like eight seconds ago when I needed someone to do the shoutout command and no mods were here, and then lo and behold, you show up right after I type it out myself? I can't believe you've done this to me. Oh, you're playing Wind Waker. Nice. That is a Zelda game I have never played. I'm not a big fan of the art style, but I have heard nothing but good things about it. So, I trust the general community that it is a good Zelda game. Icy Big Poe, I will destroy you again. Jackson Lash, welcome to stream. Came here from watching Digimon. We got a lot of new people here today. I'm glad you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching. Lana, where are you on the map? That you're, like, causing problems. Oh, no, not Hyrule Captain. I need him. How on earth can I go on without Hyrule Cap or Hillian Captain? That's Ganondorf's best friend from his unwritten backstory. For that comment, I hope you lose again. Wow, Raptor. Wow. Get out of here. Alright, you gotta go as well. No, the Hillian Captain, he left. Alright, Lana is inside the Allied base. Also, I wanted to be clear, I realize I'm doing exactly the same thing I did last time when I lost. However, hear me out. What if it works this time? Did you ever consider that? No. 
because I think it will. I should have just pulled out an error on you, but I didn't for some reason. Go away! Nice. Alright, Lana's in trouble. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go take care of Lana first. I like how Gear him just said, are you trying to steal my thunder when I'm using a lightning weapon? Lana, what the heck? You're not even the person with the the flag. Why do I lose it? Oh, the allied base is falling. That was probably what happened last time. I don't know. And then maybe Lana just left at the same time. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Fee, how's it going? Fee and Ganondorf, name a more iconic Zelda duo. You can't. No one more iconic than Ganondorf and Fee working side by side. Absolute classic. How did you not get hit by my my trident there? Lana, I just healed you. Like, what are you doing out there? What is, what is happening? What, where, where are you? What is what is going on? Did she die? I think she died. This entire place is just a mess. Kind of wish I was using the Dark Swords right now so that I could do the, uh, the Super Giant Demon combo. That would probably clear this place up. There's still more enemies in here? Hi, guys. I'm gonna have to ask you all to, like, get lost. This allied base sucks because there are... Not four. There are three entry points to it. There are too many. We basically cleaned out here now. We good? You guys think you can last like four minutes with- Oh my goodness, where did these things come from? Killian, Captain, and Ganon? You know, that's a good point. That is a pretty iconic combo. You're not wrong. I'll give you that one, chat. This game is on the Switch. This version of the game. This game has three different versions. The Wii U version, the 3DS version, and then this version. On the Switch. Trouble? Fee, what are you doing? I left you for like three minutes. Not even. What is this girl's problem? Lana and being in danger. Danger. Tingle and Xan. Link and Midna. That's just. They they have no correlation whatsoever. That's that's not a a standard Legend of Zelda combo. Not nearly on the level as Ganondorf and that one Hillian captain who didn't even get a name. I'm gonna name him myself. He gets to be, he gets to be Frederick from now on. Ganondorf and Frederick, the ultimate Legend of Zelda power team. I hope Frederick makes it into Age of Calamity. I bet Frederick will be the main hero of Breath of the Wild too. Who even needs Zelda or Link? Oh, now all these yellow guys are here. the most babysitting Ganondorf mission I've ever seen in my life. Oh, what the heck? The main boss of the Yellow Boys came over here to me? How nice. Makes my life a lot easier. You are dead as heck, dude. I can't believe Age of Calamity is coming out so soon, too without having had any prior announcement. Although I guess that's what happens when you basically have no Nintendo Directs happening. Is that stuff just suddenly gets announced out of error. Wait a minute, is that Frederick over there? Frederick, is that you? Frederick, I'm coming. God, we healed him, thank goodness. I don't know what we would do without Frederick on hand. Ganondorf, would, he would just be distraught. V, are you kidding me? Can you do nothing on your own, girl? Hello, allied base. I'm here to save you because the people here suck, evidently. This is one of those missions that is rough because everyone is just constantly dying and I have to constantly be saving them. 
I mean, that that doesn't happen often on this style of map, but on a map where you've got uh, multiple enemies, or uh, both red and yellow to deal with, ketchup and mustard assailing us from both sides, it can definitely happen. All right, I need everyone in here to be dead so that the place starts healing up. Thank you. Ooh, is that a Moblin Spear right there? Beautiful and true. All right, everything's kind of worked out now. We kind of brought it all back. I just need you to be dead. No, like die though. How are you alive? There we go. Handled that. And then do I want to bother with trying to get any other keeps? How much time do I have? Oh, we have plenty of time. And I do like playing as Ganondorf. So, you know, we may as well. Let's take all of these yellow keeps because I can. Goodbye. Japan is getting a collector's edition of, of what? Of, um... Of Age of Calamity. Yeah, I hope that comes to the US. Because I'd probably get it. Depending on what's in it. Yeah, it probably was a lot of stuff Nintendo had planned for E3, but, you know, pandemic and all that kind of pushed you back. I do really wish they had just, like... Because uh, I was talking with Michael about it the other day when we were in call, and it uh, feels like instead of doing all this staggered information stuff, they definitely could have, like, with Paper Mario and Age of Calamity and uh, the Mario stuff, etc., it feels like they definitely could have put together, like a 30 to 45 minute Nintendo Direct that could have happened a few months ago to announce all of this instead. Because I think it's, I think it's literally, I saw it the other day on Twitter, it's been a year straight up since the last full Nintendo Direct. Like, we've had some mini Directs or Partner Showcase Directs, obviously. But, uh, last time, like, a full-on General Direct happened, it, it's been a year, which is insane to think about. It's crazy, man. Because when they announced Age of Calamity the other day, it really, like, that's when I really was like, oh, man. I really wish they'd get back to doing directs because I would have loved, like, a, oh, what the heck? I've been bamboozled. I got bamboozled. Help. I didn't get that in time, really. Whatever, you're dead. But uh, it really hit me like, man, I would have loved live streaming a direct where they announced Age of Calamity, and I would have lost it. If you pre-order Age of Calamity digital version, you get a ladle as a weapon for Link. Oh, that makes me mad. Actually. Like, I saw that pre-order thing, but that's only for digital version? That sucks. Because I'm definitely getting a physical copy, because I like to own the box art and all. So I guess I'm going to miss out on that because I'm not going to buy digital. That that really blows, actually. I kind of hate that. Like, it'd be one thing if it was just a pre-order thing in general. But, uh... To have it only be for digital copies being pre-ordered? I hate that. That sucks. V, are you serious? Can you just, like, hang on just long enough for me to kill Girahim? Nope. No, you can't. These guys. Oh, he's only at, like, half health. Oh, my word. The allied base fell. You're kidding me. Dude, this level sucks. It's not often you have a Ganondorf level that sucks, but this one really sucks. The amount of babying you have to do for the, uh, for B in the allied base is insane. You can't leave it for, like, more than a minute or suddenly it's like, hey, we're dying. So this time...
time, let's take this one and then immediately go, I guess, go to the allied base and kill anyone nearby it. This is just fairy clothing. I don't think Age of Calamity is going to be anything like this. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I don't expect it to be, like, the exact same, but, uh... It's made by the exact same developers. It, like, it's, it's Koei Tecmo doing it. So I don't, I don't see why it would be wildly different. It's still gonna be a Warriors games. A Warriors game. Yeah, Koei Tecmo does all Warriors games. All Warrior games, words. It'd be really weird for uh, Age of Calamity to be like vastly different. All right, let's mix this up this time because this map sucks. There'll be a lot more story in Age of Calamity. I don't know about that either. I mean, this game had a pretty hefty story mode. Not like insanely long or anything, but I mean, it, it had a pretty good story mode that went for quite a few maps and had a lot of, a lot of stuff put into it. Yeah, I like the story mode in this game. It was pretty darn good. They had a really neat original storyline going on, like that went really well with Zelda lore in general. And uh, the maps were really fun to play and all. Not just that, but also the champion's deaths. I don't know. I kind of expect for like all of the stuff about like the champions dying at the end to basically just be like you go through a story mode of like fighting the fighting Ganon's enemies or, or Ganon's people or whatever. And then like the the champions like dying and all that is probably just going to be like the final cutscene of the story mode or something. But I guess we'll see what happens. the good thing about a game being announced like right next to its release date is we don't have to wait that long like we'll know in about what two and a half months two months something around there not frederick <laughs> i'm not even gonna take the chest here because it's a trap anyway all right Everyone get out of my allied base. We're not doing this anymore. This is a, yeah, look at how many moblins are here. Get, get lost. Easy. Yeah, I would, I mean, they could try and do something different on it, but I'm, I'm kind of expecting Age of Calamity to just be like a, not like a carbon copy of Hyrule Warriors, but I expect it to be fairly similar. I did not mean to do that. Let's try to keep Lana alive this time. Maybe she'll actually help out a little bit, though I find that unlikely. Not fast enough. Goodbye. It's gonna be pretty sick getting to play as the champions, specifically Urbosa and Rivali. I'm looking forward to. See so, you know, hoping for the best, pretty much. Hi guys, what's happening in here? Yeah, if they have like a flurry rush thing from like Breath of the Wild, the flurry rush in Breath of the Wild was like probably the best mechanic in that game, to be honest, from what I recall. So that'd be neat to have a flurry rush style thing in uh, in Age of Calamity. I'd be super down for that. Just please don't put any kind of weapon durability. 
I can't even imagine how weapon durability would work in a Warriors game in any fashion. But please don't try to find a way. Just not needed. Hi, guys. Get back in there. All right, so as of right now, it seems like taking those red bases right next to the... Uh, well, I mean, we only took one red keep, actually, but it seems like going over there and clearing out right next to the allied keep immediately has made this far more manageable. Hopefully it stays that way. And we're already at 1,500 kills. Lana, how are you in danger again, girl? Oh, Girahim is attacking. That's a problem. Just hold him off long enough for me to kill this icy big Poe. I'll be right there. Oh, well, there goes Lana. She slowed him down for me, at least. This thing is so close to dead, I don't want to leave until it is. Icy big Poe, you scumbag, you're going down. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just go kill Giran. I don't think I was supposed to get any hard containers or anything on this map. I think we just need A rank. So let's get it and go. The chest is hidden in a keep somewhere. I mean, do I, like, need to get it, though? I mean, I'm not going to be able to anyways. Boom. Because if I try to go get it, then... Girahim here is just gonna destroy Fee or the allied base. Yo, is that a Moblin Spear? Let's go. Definitely want to win now because Moblin Spears are not easy to come by. Girahim! Is that Frederick I just healed? I hope it was. Although the allied base is really good on HP right now, so I might be able to get away with it. Is there a boss after gearing him? Is a boss spawn? I mean, what's the worst case scenario? I have to do this map again, which means I have to play as Ganon again? Oh no. Playing as Ganon. What a horrible thing. Alright, well, it's done now anyway. Mine. I fulfilled my duties. Well, we got the sealed weapon. That's what really matters. Is this also based off Demise? I think it is. Yeah, the Trident of Demise. That looks so sick. Dude, like, just the style of Hyrule Warriors is... It's just amazing. It's so good. The design of all the characters and the majority of the weapons and all, it's just phenomenal. So well done. You love the sea. Yeah, we didn't need to get anything else. We're good. We good, we good. Where do we want to go next? Still got, like, most of the bottom left, most of the bottom right. We got a little bit of stuff here in the middle. I haven't played his fee yet today. Let's do this. Destroy enemies and traitors alike. Oh, it's one of these. We got a heart container to find and a scatala to get. Let's do it. My fee is level 51. That's not bad. What on earth do you need for these? Friggin' imprisoned scales. I have 29 of Girahim's sash? Seriously? That's crazy. Oh, dude, look at this. That's amazing. The true goddess blade. Does this... It's just, this, wait a minute, why doesn't this have stars on it? Was this not a weapon that I made? Is this one that I just got at random? Hold up a second. Let me put stars on that. Because it already has slots plus and rupees plus. Let me throw some stars plus on this. Try and get an even better true goddess blade. What's the max amount of stars you can get? Is it five stars? 
five stars, eight slots is like the the top. I think. Yeah, there's still like four characters I haven't even unlocked. I should probably do that at some point. Because I don't think I ever even played as them in the Wii U version either. So I don't think I've ever played as them. Like, I played as the Wind Waker characters before this playthrough. Yeah, we've been having bots a lot lately for some reason. Lone Wolf, uh... I've already got Nightbot set to, like, immediately ban, uh... Or not ban, but to time out people trying to put links. Only for, like, five seconds. So it's mostly just meant to stop bots. If someone comes into chat and accidentally puts one, then it's a five-second timeout. They immediately get to start posting again. But, uh... Some bots recently have been, like, they put, like space dot like the word dot space calm etc so lone wolf actually did some uh nightbot shenanigans to try and make it where even that will immediately get hit by nightbot is like blacklisted words and it looks like it works so shout out to lone wolf for making that happen whoops is this the heart container i need ah oh, dude love it all right we gotta find some freaking traders <laughs> i I love getting to fight Gorons, because the woo, woo, woo noise that they make as they die is hilarious. Goodbye. Thank you. Hi, Outpost Captain. Bye, Outpost Captain. I see you there, Lana, and I'll be there to beat you up in a minute. Let me just save this fairy real fast. Actually, I probably should have just tried to knock Lana into this keep, but whatever. What on earth did it just say about a stall master sensing danger and retaining his strength? What the heck does that mean? Dude, I love that combo on Fee. Not only is it a good combo, but like using the three colored flames from Skyward Sword is amazing. Or something I was going to say, but I've forgotten, so it probably wasn't important. I feel that, Raptor. Have that happen all the time. Probably not a good sign for my memory, given that I'm only, like, 24. But, eh, whatever. It'll probably be fine. Lana, you're still alive. What the heck? Get out of here, girl. There we go. I don't think I even really need Lana materials right now. Really, I need I need boss enemy materials more than anything else. Got him. Alright, still quite a few enemies around here, but nah, whatever. Yeah, I can probably handle it. And by that I mean there's no way the AI can handle it, but for the time being, it's not my problem. Will it be my problem later? Yeah, probably. But that's a problem for, like, the chaos of three minutes from now, not the chaos of now. The chaos of now, instead, is going to do other things. Thank you. All of you get away from my outpost. It's mine now. Hi, guys! I'm here mainly because I want to get to that statue over there. Link is in trouble. Link, you're the hero of freaking Hyrule, dude. What do you mean you're in trouble? If you're in trouble, then the whole world is in trouble. Like, that's not a good sign. I'm telling you, Link goes down. It's finally time. Hero Ganondorf game. Make it happen, Nintendo. Just make a Zelda game totally flipped on its head, where, like, Link is evil, Link and Zelda can both be evil, or it could just be Link is evil and Zelda is still good. And then Ganondorf is the hero. I want it. And if I want it, then clearly millions of other people 
would feel the exact same and would pay for it. So do it. Might be a little awkward for all of the, like, seven-year-olds that play Zelda games to be like, why is Ganon the good guy? He's mean. But I would love it. Oh my goodness, there's a Skatulla in this map, and it's all the way up there. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, Link, I'm on my way. Definitely to save you and not for any other ulterior motive. I totally forgot we had to get a Skatulla in this map. Where is my spider? Is it right here? There's normally one right here. Yeah. Just in time. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so as long as I'm here, I should definitely clean the place out a little bit. And more specifically, save Link and turn this on. Thank you. Where is Link? Right over here? Is that him? That little green circle right there? Yeah, get out of here, scumbags. Hi! I came as fast as I could, Link. Definitely was trying to save you the whole time. You can't prove otherwise. Get this Goron out of here. Tingle becomes the hero? I'll, I'll swear off Zelda here, then and there. Like, that's, that's the last time I ever give any Zelda game my money. If they try and make Tingle a hero in any capacity. I don't ever want to see Tingle in a Zelda game for as long as I live. Never, never show that freak of nature to me ever again. Hi, Keep Boss. Bye, Keep Boss. I wanted to go ahead and use all of my special bar because we're close to a level up. Don't mind if I do. It said Turncoat Leader appeared. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Look at that. Who ever could have predicted? You done, bud. Ooh. Bit of a waste when I was only 20% away from full magic to pick up a full magic container, but whatever. This outpost is suspiciously close to these other keeps. I don't think I'm even going to need this bird statue. Honestly, I might not need any of the bird statues anymore, but I'm here. May as well turn it on. This is going insanely smoother than the Ganon map we just did. Almost to a surprising degree. By the way, I saw on Twitter, I didn't see like an actual number of how many are like being sold. But uh, someone threw out a statistic, which I didn't fact check, so it could have been a lie for all I know. But they said like the sales of Hyrule Warriors on Amazon of Definitive Edition for the Switch specifically on Amazon have gone up like 2000% or something. Like after they announced Age of Calamity, a ton of people just went onto Amazon and started buying this game, which is great news. Hopefully it leads to a lot of uh, a lot of new Hyrule Warriors fans, because I love this game. Maybe Age of Calamity will sell really well, and they'll just... Then, you know what would be ideal? A lot of people buy this game because of Age of Calamity. Then, a lot of people buy Age of Calamity. And then Nintendo is like, you know what? That did really well. Why don't you guys, like... They go up to Koei Tecmo, and they're like, why doesn't Koei Tecmo? Why don't you guys, like make an actual straight-up sequel to the first Breath, or not the first Breath of the Wild, but an actual straight-up sequel to the first Hyrule Warriors, at which point I will lose my mind and give them all of my money. Yeah, it is, like, the only, is there any, like, big Nintendo ga uh, game coming out around the end of the year other than Age of Calamity? Like, Age of Calamity has the entire, like, the entire like Christmas sales block to itself basically in terms of Nintendo releases which is amazing you love to see it oh we're fighting Sia? no Sia's on our side who am I fighting? is it Darunia because there are a bunch of Gorons? I don't know oh no more Goron captains Oh, it's freaking Zelda. Why? Ah, whatever.
think Cage 4 might be sooner than we think. I saw some info talking about a certain Disney movie being confirmed for it. Oh, was you saw the tweet about uh, Frozen 2. I wouldn't be holding out any hope for a Cage 4. What I am holding out hope for is another KH title, like something more akin to like Birth by Sleep or something like that. In, uh, I didn't realize my magic ran out in the next little while, because uh, there was an interview with Nomura where Nomura said they wanted to do a something cool for KH's 20th anniversary, which is 2022. So, you know, only about a year and a half away. KH3 just came out last year? KH3 was 2019, right? Or was that the start of 2020? I My, my ability to tell time is abysmal. I'm pretty sure that was... That was last year. Cage 3 was last year. And then, yeah, we have uh, Melody of Memories coming out in a couple of months. But uh, 2022, I'm thinking we could get... Uh, a lot of people are thinking a Yuzora game, maybe. Something to uh, a game more focused around Yuzora to tie him into more future Cage titles or something. That'd be pretty neat. Even though I think the Remind Yuzora battle was actual trash. But it'd be really cool. We're definitely gonna, it's definitely looking like we're gonna get something fairly large KH style in 2022. Which means probably there's gonna be like next to nothing in, uh, in 2021 about KH since Melody of Memories is coming out in November. <laughs> wow, I love that battle. Yeah, some people did. I liked all of the other, uh, except for Vanitas. But I liked all of the other data battles. I thought they were amazing, but... I did not like the, uh, I did not like the Yuzora fight. All of the Remind, all of the, uh, let's play as Rudo. All of the, um, data battles felt to me like they were good levels of challenging and having to learn the enemies you were fighting and all that, but then, like, all of Yuzora's combos and stuff to me just felt like basically a toss-up. Like, timing and dodging and hitting them all just felt so incredibly terrible to me compared to all of the Remind fights where it felt like I was actually learning and getting better at the fight as I went on. Then when I fought Yuzora, it was just like, uh, oh, hey, you got hit that time. You did the exact same thing to let you dodge it before, but this time when you tried to do that, instead you got hit for some reason. I really did not enjoy it. I'm gonna level you up a little bit because I can. It was annoying to learn, but when I did, I thought it was really well done. Nah, I, I did it for, like... I fought Yuzora for, I think, about two to three hours, somewhere in there. And I never felt like I was learning. Every time I thought I learned something, it would just suddenly stop working after a while. Like, so, like it would be, like, a 50-50 chance of, like, it would work or not. And I was... It just made no sense to me. Whereas every other Remind fight, even if I got beat at it for, like, an hour or so, eventually I would get to the point where it's like, oh, now I get it. And then I'd be able to execute it correctly and win. But then Yuzora, it was just like, nah, dude. Defeat the owner of the Triforce of Power. I'm gonna bet that's Ganondorf. Where's the button to... Am I losing my mind? Oh, you just moved the right stick. I lost my mind for a second there. I couldn't remember how to, uh... I couldn't remember how to switch from one target to the next. Ganondorf. Tidal wave? Oh, dude. How did that work? Anyways. I mean, it's just one boss fight in the game, so I don't really... I don't really mind that much. If other people liked it, sick. Glad you enjoyed it. I personally was not a fan of the Yuzora fight. I really loved all of the data battles, though, except for Vanitas. Vanitas annoyed me, but that was more so that was more so me getting annoyed than me thinking it was bad. The the Yuzora fight I just thought wasn't designed quite as well as all the others, personally. But uh, all of the other Remind fights, especially like uh, Zigbar, was a ton of fun. Zigbar was probably my favorite. Um, Zemnis, I really enjoyed. Shion was a ton of fun, even though she was crazy difficult, at least for me she was. I had a tough time with Shion, but by the time I like beat Shion, it was it was amazing. Felt very, very accomplished.
Why am I getting door? Stop being immune. There we go. Yeah, I looked up the Azoras cutscenes and stuff because I didn't actually finish the fight. It's KH. You gotta, you gotta see all the cutscenes. I'm not about to go into whatever the next cage game is and then it show me something relating to Azora and I'm like, what the heck is this about? I unintentionally found the Vanitas skip, so it wasn't that bad. There's a skip? I've never heard of this. That sounds interesting. But I hated the fight otherwise. Yeah. I didn't see too many opinions online about like which data fights were like liked or disliked more. But it seemed like there were a handful of people who were like, yeah, the Benitas one was one of the, the lesser ones. Which made me feel pretty pretty happy because that was one I wasn't a big fan of. I was waiting for Ganondorf to do a move to show his weak bar, but whatever, I'll just kill him instead. Don't give me weapons, give me materials, cowards. I think you normally get weapons mainly out of these, but you can get materials, I think. I don't know if you remember the fight, but you can interrupt him when he jumps on his Keyblade to glide. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember at this point. The thing that I really remember is the... The really... I really hated about the Azora fight was the, um... Alright, this is Zelda. The thing that I remember hating the most was the... The try... The pyramid move. Whatever the pyramid move was. Like, sometimes I could dodge it. Sometimes I couldn't. I could never figure out what needed to be done to, like, dodge it reliably. And I got really sick of it. very unfortunate Zelda got invincibility frames during that. Bruno's moves are just a tiny bit too slow to reliably get that full weak bar break. Vanitas' fight was definitely, like, one of the lowest tier data fights. I think I actually, I'm, if I remember correctly, I actually ranked them all after I finished them. Because I wanted to do a list ranking them with RTK, but I don't think RTK ever got around to doing them all. But I ranked them all, so I've, I've got a list somewhere that I made, like, right after I finished the game of what I ranked the data fights at. I just have to see where I saved it. All I know for sure is that Zigbar was definitely my favorite. Getting showdowns against Zigbar was just chef's kiss. I loved it every single time. Oh, I accidentally executed Lana. Rip. It's fine. She's not going to die. Zen I had Zemnis really high on the list. I think Zemnis was in my top five, if I remember right. He was also very fun to fight. Zigbar was my favorite, but I had I had Xion and Zemnis were really high as well. I think I had Master Xehanort's fight pretty high on the list also. There we go. Go away, Zelda. The Luxord fight was good. I felt like it was a little, uh, if I remember right, it was, like, easier than most of the other ones, which kind of brought it down a bit for me. Because, you know, it was the Remind Data DLC fights. I, I wanted some difficult battles. That's also, I'm pretty sure I had Riku pretty low on my list, too, because his fight was also pretty easy. I think I, I beat Riku and I beat Ansem the Seeker of Darkness in, like, ten minutes. I, I beat Ansem the Seeker of Darkness first try, actually, if I remember right. But Ansem Seeker of Darkness was a lot more fun. I, he was like the second to last one I fought, I think. So by then, I was just really in the groove. I'm gonna see, after I get done with this map, I'm gonna see if I can find that list. I assume I'm gonna have to fight Link here, the holder of the Triforce of Courage. Ah, oh, the owner of the Triforce of Courage. And, oh, there's Link. Whoever could have predicted. Help. That actually hit Link? I'm amazed. That should not have worked. <laughs> the link stop, stop, stop. Title 
away. Rudo is pretty fun to play as in this game, by the way. I like playing as Rudo, but I definitely... I prefer playing as Rudo... Whoops. I prefer playing as Rudo, like, not in matches where you're trying to defeat one singular enemy. She does a lot better at crowd control, I feel like, because that tidal wave move is so good at it. This one right here just absolutely decimates crowds. It's one of, like... I don't have, like, actual facts on this, but to me, it feels like one of the widest moves in the game. It just hits so much. It does leave her a little vulnerable to being hit during it, sometimes. Also, I like her strong move. Also really good at clearing areas and knocking enemies really far back. Alright, we don't really have to worry here because Link is so much lower on health than Impa. It's very unlikely that we accidentally kill Impa first. I am a little low on HP, so I'm trying to be a little more careful here. Hey, 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 hey. stop that. Hey, nope. Can I heal? Nope. That's what I thought. This was the no healing one. Nope. Can I get a weak point on Link, please? He is very low on health. And really just needs like one weak point break to end him. That's not a weak point thing, I don't think. Cause that was his magic move. Those normally don't go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Nope. Stupid Impa is giving me trouble here. Nope. That wasn't a weak point option there. That looked like a combo. That is. Oh, dang it. I had to get out of the way of the kunai rain. But there we go. That ought to do it. Got a little dicey at the end here, but we made it work. Oh, we actually did get an Impa Breastplate and Link's Boots, which I think I'm low on. Nice. Let me see if I can find that list of the data battles I did. Because I made it, like, right after I finished them, so that would have been when it was fresh on my mind. Yeah, take your leave. We're good here. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there it is. Open that. Alright, so right after... Right after finishing the fights, I ranked them from 13 to first place. Vanitas sets the bottom, and then Vanitas, Repliku, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. I'm surprised I put them that low, but I did beat them first try, I guess. Young Xehanort... Larxene, Saix, Marluxia, Luxord was number six, Terranort was five, Master Xehanort was four, Xion was three, Xemnas was two, and Zigbar was one. Yeah, Xemnas was my number two. I knew he was up there. I wasn't sure if he was like number four or number three, but he was actually number two. Look at that. I knew Xion was in my top three. I actually thought I had Master Xehanort in the top three, but I guess he got four and Xemnas got two. I must have flipped them in my mind when I was trying to remember it. Hey, power bracelet. Ooh, Zelda gets a new weapon. I hope it's not her baton. If I went back and did the data battles again, I think I would probably move Ansem up a little bit. I think the main problem with Ansem is because I beat him first try. I only got to see his combos and stuff once. So, like, I didn't I didn't get a lot of feel throughout that bo uh, battle. Oh, we got to beat the Imprisoned in this one. Here we go, boys. And we have to use the baton, which I don't think is a bad weapon, but is definitely the worst of Zelda's three options. I'm gonna go ahead and put you at level 60. I'm under two mil now, but that's fine. Oh, uh, we gotta use the baton to beat the imprisoned. Here we go, boys. Yeah, take that. Why not? I don't think we'll get 4k KOs here, but we'll try. My favorite change in Hyrule's Definitive Edition is being able to purchase map items, not having to redo stages for them helps the repetitiveness. You couldn't buy them back in the Wii U version? I honestly don't remember. It's been so long. But yeah, it, absolutely, I agree. Being able to buy them is a thousand times better, without a doubt. Dude, I haven't used this weapon in so long. I gotta remember how to 
how to, like, combo with this. Oh, dude, that's right. I don't understand how the combo on this thing, like, works. Because, like, you get that thing that pops up where it, like, puts the magical stuff on it, and then you're supposed to, like, use the strong attack off of that to, like, make something happen. I always use the rapier or the dominion rod. I do not remember how to use the baton to save my life. I think, wait a minute. Yeah, you're supposed to control this and move it through the little other things that you made with the combos, and then that uh, makes it bigger, I think? We gotta fight the imprisons. This is the worst time for me to have to try and remember combinations. Go this way, actually, because it's gonna be less of a race. Hi, guys! You don't mind. Oh, the other one had the fairy in it, though. I'm gonna do this real quick and try and make this work. Only got one level up there, it looks like, on fort. Gather around, everyone! Get into my hurricane. Doesn't seem bad, doesn't seem amazing. I do think the baton is Zelda's weakest weapon, but it's definitely not a bad weapon. There are worse weapons in the game, for sure. What's the combo I'm thinking of? I keep accidentally... That was level 4 combo? Level 2 combo, what I'm thinking of? Yeah, this! That's what I was trying to find right there. Get him. Did you see that slowdown right there, by the way? That's, that's why I want uh, a Switch Pro. Is that right there? Sometimes in Hyrule Warriors? Oh my goodness. It was really bad right there. It's because the baton has so many wind effects, probably. Like, when you run into a lot of effects like this, you can get some sudden slowdown. I want a switch that doesn't have that problem. I don't know how well it comes through on the recording. If it's, like, noticeable or not. Hi, Wizro. When did you get here, bud? The enemies that get inflicted by the strong... I did not mean to press A there. It is noticeable? Yeah, I figured it would be. So that, that right there is basically why I want to switch pro. It's just a switch that doesn't run into that issue right there. Oh my word, this thing is massive. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said, etc, etc. Cue all the eight-year-olds laughing. Hilarious. Don't talk to me about that. Is that item thief? Get out of here, item thief. You're not welcome here. Thank you. Item thief, no! I can't... <laughs> Dang it. Not my bombs! Alright, we gotta get a move on here. I wasted way too much time there. For a second, I actually forgot, like, hey, you gotta fight the imprisoned at the end of this. It's not gonna be easy. Zelda looks so good in this game. Like, I'm telling you, all of the characters have, like, their best design in any Zelda game in this one. Ganon, Impa, Zelda, Link even, I would say Link even does. It's just all of their best designs are in this game. They look amazing. Don't forget you don't have to get close to the imprison with the baton. How so? With what, the level 2 combo right here? Hey, don't knock me out of my combo. There's so many enemies here. Send help. Oh, just doing this. Is the strong attack good against the imprison? I feel like I underused the strong attack, probably. Hey, I unlocked the skill. Good job, mate. Let me really quickly get some people with the thing on them, please. And go. Oh, there we go. Does it only it only needs two to get to max power, it looks like. Maybe. The baton is really cool. When I make it work right. I feel like it takes a little too long to get the strong attack going to take advantage of the combo with it. But I mean, look at how can you not love controlling a literal tornado that sends them flying all over the place, am I right? 
Press the button again, it causes more damage when it dissipates. Oh, just pressing it again, like, ends it? End it? Let's make that happen. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Thank you for this tip. It's been way too long since I used the baton, man. I don't remember anything about this weapon. I do love the execute move where she does the little triangle. It is adorable. Just, just get out of here. Hey, I did not realize I was that close to a level up. We're about to take back the central keep, seriously? I still have another allied person to save. Apparently I have to beat up Wizro for it. Oh, but you know what? This is fine, going back this way. Oh, nope, never mind. I was completely out of time and didn't realize. Did the game tell me that he was low on health? I didn't notice that he was low on health. All right, all right, fine. This is on me because I spent way too much time remembering how to use the baton. But now that I remember how to use the baton, we can make this work. I'm not even going to bother with that, Keith. Who cares? <laughs> Wizro was in here? Wizro went from here over to Link? In that last round? Is that what happened? Tornado! Ow. Stop this. Stop it. Let me hit Wizro's weak point. Get out of here. Oh, the keep boss is here. How nice. Oh, the keep boss is dead. How nice. Go down, Wizro. You're so annoying to deal with. I don't like fighting a single enemy with a baton. Where's Wizro going? Not the Boblins! I can go all the way to Link now, actually. This is such a long path. This guy's so low on health, what the heck is he doing there? This is a really weird map setup. Hey, do you mind? Stupid Moblin? I'm oh my goodness, the slowdown. The baton is the slowdown weapon confirmed. Get over here, you stupid. Oh, you knocked me out of it, dang it. Stupid Moblin. Wizro, come back here. I know you're going to try and go kill Link. Don't do that. And I'm going to I'm going to the keep that has Sia in it, aren't I? So we're going to have to beat up Sia. Item Thief, I really don't have the time for you right now. I'm not having the best map of my life right now. There we go, that's what I need. Oh, yes. Nice. Alright, that went way better. Link, how are you in trouble? I'm right here, dude. Like, what, what more could I possibly do than what I currently am? Get away. There are so many of you freaks. Mizro! It's so annoying fighting a single... What's my level 1 combo? Oh, that's neat. That's neat as heck. Look at that. I don't know how actually like useful it is, but it looks really cool. That also looks really cool. Wizro, you're too bulky. At least against the baton you are. Please show me your weak point bar. Yes, yes. Yes! My man is still just hanging on. Wizro cannot be stopped. Nope. I 
was not the combo I meant to use there, but whatever. You're done, Wizro. I said you're done. Oh no, my bombs. I didn't even know that the guy had gotten here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's hurry up and get to these other guys. C is in our way, which is a bit of a problem. I'm sick of all these stupid shield moblins because like it makes using the strong move more difficult. Please give me that. Didn't give it to me, rip. Help, 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 help. Ow. Just give me your key. None of this would be happening if I had the Dominion Rod or the Rapier. I'll be back for CLA. Hi there. Oh, Link is over here? I thought that Link was up there somewhere. Oh, whatever. Get lost. Out of my house. This is actually my house, isn't it? I own this place, because I'm the princess. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get the hurricane move ready. There we go. Oh my goodness, these stupid moblins knock me out of it every time. Frederick! Save Frederick! Nice, nice, nice. Come on. There we go. Get away from me. Can't believe I got the full hurricane from that. I, I can't even tell what's happening. I don't know what happened, but it worked out. Item Thief is here. I don't think I even need my bombs, to be honest, so who cares? Well, I need the key, dang it. Alright, I got like four minutes to get the key and uh, beat the commander. Because I'm going to need, at minimum, five minutes for what's-his-face. What if Dodongo shows up? Then I'll cry. Like, there's nothing really else to be done at that point but cry. Hold up a second. Does this... No, it doesn't appear to. Do you need to use combos to set up the thing? To set up the little boost points? Or can the normal move set it up? Ah, whatever. Just keep doing what works. Oh, hi, Sia. Looking good, as always. How you doing? Please get lost. The baton is a really neat weapon. I do like it. It's a good weapon, and it's really nice that Zelda has it. It works very well. I just prefer her other weapons. See ya, please. I love that combo. As much as I would like to kill Sia and get a material from her, I legitimately am starting to think I don't have time. I do love spinning her around in a hurricane. Alright, Sia, if I run into you again, I'll kill you in the process, but I gotta go get this thing and go. The normal strong attack can make the, the pink power-up things you need, but it is more likely to happen in combos. That's what it looks like, yeah. Here we go. Now we're talking. Rip this castle keep apart. How? You're on like negative three health. Keep, what are you doing? Yeah, it is still 15 minutes to get the S rank. But. I have a lot of trouble with killing the imprisoned fast enough. <laughs> It can take me up to five minutes to beat the imprison. Oh, Sia's almost dead. I should take advantage of this and get a material from her. If it was like any other, like... Pretty much any other boss, even Ganon. Except maybe Phantom Ganon. Phantom Ganon can give me trouble sometimes. But, uh... 
Oh, this is a dark place. Get out. The Imprisoned and Phantom Ganon can, can take me a while, so I like... I like to at least make sure I have five minutes left. Thank you, I needed that. Hey, get lost. I need you to die. I need you to die, I'm taking damage, please go. Nice, thank you. Oh, it's freaking Ganon! And I'm not using the light weapon, rip! Oh, darkness. No, that's the wrong thing. I didn't mean to click that. Help! Help! Hold up. Gotta take advantage of the Wii Point Bar. Alright. Wrong button again. Listen, I'm a little flustered. Alright, Ganondorf, I need you to die at minimum within a minute. Like, at minimum. Thank you, invincibility frames. Everyone knows that Ganondorf's greatest weakness is the power of music. What's that, the Master Sword? No. Power of music. Far more deadly than the Master Sword. Oh, there we go. Get him with the full hurricane, boys. Ganon, stop getting so close to me. Didn't Zelda get a restraining order on you by now? Alright, we're gonna beat him before the 10 minute mark, which is good. At least we're very likely to. I would really like... Maybe Ganondorf will drop some magic for me would be ideal. I'd like to have a full magic bar going into the imprison, ideally. I also want to keep as much of the special bar as I can, even though I could, like, finish off Ganon here. I was hoping he'd give me a weak point thing, but he seems intent not to let that happen. There we go. Ganondorf has summoned the imprison, even though Ganondorf's dead as heck. Did I just get another gold material from Ganon? I'm pretty sure I don't need more of his jewels. At this point, I need his gauntlets. Everyone's greatest weakness is the power of gun, but it sadly doesn't exist in the Zelda universe. You make a really good point. Alright, we got like four and a half minutes to beat the Imprisoned, and he's starting on his belly, which is just abysmal for us. And I didn't get full magic, which actually I can probably rectify by coming over here. I'm gonna kill you guys real quick, don't mind me. There we go. Yes! Alright, that'll come in handy. So is this gonna, like, do good damage to his toes? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, his toes can get the pink things on him? That's crazy. Break. Like, break, though. Thank you. Uh, uh. What combo do I use? Not that one. It's not even making contact. Level two, maybe? Nope. Alright, dude, I have no idea how to... I don't know what move to use here. Maybe level one? Probably level four. Oh, he's already back up. Rip. Someone in chat give me the keys to the kingdom. Which combo is best to break weak bars with Baton Zelda? This is, this is not looking good, boys. Stop this. That didn't get any breaks, seriously. Not Frederick! Yeah, come and help me, please. Combo two and four, both good. Thank you. Four probably seems like my go-to. Please do a lot. Oh, we're screwed. There's no way. I gotta get, like, four more weak point breaks in three minutes. Against Imprison. There's no way.
using my nomenclature or some or the other one? Two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, I forgot that this combo existed. That's a combo I haven't been using the entire time. That's probably gonna break the toes, actually. That's what I'm about to try and use that for. Oh yeah, I did pretty nice at breaking the toes. Are you okay? What on earth? I've never seen that before in my life. I forgot that existed. Did I get the break? Okay, good. I need to heal. Assuming I haven't taken too much damage, we should have this. We have more than a minute available to us. Also, my special bar just filled up a lot? Hold up. Did I do something to my, uh, my healing items that now gives me special bar as well? Why did I just get more special bar there? I gotta find out. Just, like, do this. place. Just, just kill him. Just like, just let him die. He might, actually. There, there is a chance. Yeah, that did it. I'm surprised we got away with that, to be honest. More Scatellas mean stronger potions, which also upgrades to health and special regeneration. Oh, and we got an imprison scale. Let's go. I didn't know that the potions would get better with that. That's amazing. Thank you. Nice. See you later, Raptor. Thanks for coming to stream, dude. Gold potion is the strongest version of a potion. Cool. Ah, yes, Alo. Welcome to stream. Came in on a Xenoblade stream, but life stuff was preparing me for coming to other streams. Completely understandable. Glad to see you again. <laughs> Welcome. Sea Snack, welcome to stream as well. The glorious baton. Oh, that looks cute. I like it. Good weapon. I have too many knives. Oh my word, that one's insane. What the heck is defenseless? Nah, whatever. Alright, wait, what am I getting rid of here? I don't think I'm gonna need the slots anymore, to be honest. Keep experience up. Don't need food. Keep materials. If this is a 3,000 kill thing. 2,000 kill things suck, I was told. 4,000 kills are good. Don't need that. Don't need that. Probably don't need that. Probably don't need that. Probably don't need that. That. I just have too many things. That'll do. There's another 60k. Finally some more imprison scales. Defenseless is you cannot guard, but you do a lot more damage. Oh, dude. There are only two enemies in the entire game that I use the guard against, so that sounds amazing. Yeah, let's play as Zant. Haven't played as Zant yet today. Gotta throw out this hook shot real quick. Yeah, I'll play as Zant. Let's go for it. Oh my goodness, we gotta beat up a bunch of Monhanlas. Defeat all giant bosses in time. Oh, we don't even have to play as Zant. We get to bring whoever we want. Zant is so close to finishing all of his stuff. <coughs> I'm not wasting my icy big Poe talismans on that. Not unless it was the last thing you needed. Yeah, I need Wizro's robe. I'm surprised I'm lacking on Wizro's robe, of all things. I feel like I fight Wizro a lot. Didn't I get your level 3 weapon? I did, and I've already got a really good one. Nice. Uh, did, We got a new outfit on Sia earlier, didn't we? Let me see it. I mean, the Guardian of Time, I'm probably not changing off of that one. Oh, it's her, but green. It's pretty good. It's nice. I like the green. Good color. Cannot rotate her? I thought you could rotate the person. I guess not. I'm still sticking with Guardian of Time, though, because it is sick. So let's take Sia. 37 kills. You know what? Take that. Do I not have your level 3 weapon yet? Eh, whatever. And then we'll take Wizro. Get the whole crew together. Watch your Shadows of Almia playthrough. Speaking of Shadows of Almia, 
I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I should do Guardian Sign soon. I need to get that done. That'll be a fun playthrough. I love Guardian Signs. It's a good game. Hi, Manhanla! Yeah, there's one of the only moves I would ever guard against in this game. I really only got two hits there. Ah, it's fine. Sia, one of the best boss killers in the game. IMO, this level three combo is ridiculous. It's so good. How did I already get to full magic? Probably because of the level three combo. Are you going to immediately show your weak point? If not, I'm going to use magic to end you. All right, yep, magic time. He's so mad. Also, I think his animation got a little broken there. Take that. Oh my word, he died. I didn't even have to get to the break point. He just, he just died, chat. He's still dying. It's hurting my ears. Give me a material. Nice. Got some toxic dust, boys. Dude, every time I play as Sia, I'm reminded that she's actually, like, one of my favorite characters to play as. I love playing as Sia. Got him. Can I get some Moblin Spears? No, no Moblin Spears. Rip. Trying to decide if I should get the new Hyrule Warriors coming up or if I should save for Breath of the Wild 2. Like Belmont said, I'm not expecting to see Breath of the Wild 2 anytime soon. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't even see Breath of the Wild, like... If we see Breath of the Wild next year, I think we're going to be seeing it, like, late next year. It's going to be a while. I wouldn't be surprised if Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be, like, like a fall or winter title next year. Like, probably about this time of, this time of 2021. I could be wrong, though. So, I mean, if the... If a warrior style game looks interesting to you, I would highly recommend picking up Age of Calamity when it comes out. Of course, I haven't played it, so I don't know how good it'll actually be, but I got high hopes for it, so. I think it's probably worth getting. At least maybe if you're undecided, see some gameplay first after it comes out and then think about getting it a few days after. All right, this is the problem with Mon Hanla and a bunch of people is that everyone keeps hitting Mon Hanla before I can hit his uh, weak thing. Yep, see? Please. Please! Oh my goodness. I should have just fought Mon Hanla on my own. Oh, I timed that. Let's go. Level 3 combo destruction. So much death noise. Oh my word, it's insane. And you're done because I got full magic and a bunch of uh, A presses here. Oh, you're dead anyways. This is a really good level. Got through it really fast and got two Monhanla toxic dusts. You love to see it. What was I even trying to get from this map? Oh, a heart container for Xant. I didn't even play as Xant. Why did I bring C and Wizro? They're not even a trio. I was thinking Xant was Volga for some reason. <laughs> I should have brought, like, Girahim and Ganondorf. Ah, whatever. All's well that ends well. I'm very sorry to hear that, Allo. I hope your dog recovers well. Open for the best. Destroy enemies and traitors alike. What is this weapon? Oh, is this the the gauntlets and the metal ball? It's probably like my third favorite link weapon. I'm down for that. What am I missing here? It's the only attack badge I'm missing? I need Lizapos gauntlets and Ganon's friggin' fang. 
that he never wants to give me. Yeah, I need a lot of Lizapos gauntlets. I'm completely out, and Link needs a lot of them. Yep. Yep. In the meantime, I will use my gauntlets. Alright. Well, give me a... Uh, may as well get the, the thing on this. Because we'll definitely get two KKOs in this, I bet. And then we can... Uh, we'll unlock that and it'll be worth more money to sell. I'm glad to hear that your dog has been managing well. Look at all these stupid Gorons. I gotta remember how the combos work on this weapon. It's been a minute. Here's that age-old slowdown again. It's traitor time! What's just the normal attack? That, that was it? Alright. Pretty good. Got decent range on it. <laughs> that was hilarious. I like this weapon. It's a good one. Not quite as good as the spinner, which is unfortunate because they're both electric, but still pretty good. It's got good range on it. Someone is coming at me? Is it like an item thief or something, probably? Oh, this guy's got, like, super armor. Get out of here. Get out of here with your super armor. Yeah, that's what you get. Let's go on down here and activate this statue and then take this keep. Oh, air forces will not be boosted any further. Nice. Oh, yeah. This was uh, a very unfortunate year to have just moved somewhere. Very understandable. Of all the years to have, like, moved to a new location, this was probably one of the least ideals. All right, there's definitely going to be a trader over here in the bottom right because it's always so far out of the way. There's definitely one combo I haven't seen yet. Which one is this? Is this a level 2 combo? Yeah, that one right there. Which is actually pretty sick. Like, look at that. That's so cool. And this is the thing that, like, breaks gravity. Yeah, who needs gravity anyway? No big deal. Hi, guys. You all have to die now. Sorry, but not really. Honestly, your death brings me a modicum of joy. So, take solace in the fact that your lives at least had that purpose to them. Traitor? Traitor? No traitor? Really? Weird. Get out of here. I can't believe there wasn't a traitor in there. You, you gotta go. You got the super aura. None of that allowed. Get out. Where does the giant spear go when Link does a combo that doesn't use it? Like, what happened? Where is it right now? Hey, 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 you, you, yeah, you. Want to see me break gravity? Goodbye, turncoat soldier. Where is my... Where's the allied base? It's the bottom left. All right, all right. I thought it was top left for a second there, and I was worried, because it was very red up there. I mean, I'm still a little worried, because I probably want to stop them from taking that keep from me, but that's something we can work out later. Yeah, I think I've gone through every combo he has now. Pretty sure. 
big fan of the mole combo. Definitely up there. Destroyed. Is there a turncoat in there? Is there a leader in there? That I need to deal with? There are not many turncoat leaders. Wait a minute. Go this way. Poor Link having to run around carrying this giant thing instead of just getting to ride on a, uh, just getting to ride on the spinning top. Must be so much more convenient, comparatively. Not Frederick, oh no. Go away, where's your boss? Goodbye, key boss. No, 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 no. That guy has like three HP. Literally three. What the heck was he doing? He should have retreated when he had the chance. Man, I must have cut a lot of grass over here. What is this blinking enemy in here? Oh, it's a turncoat soldier. Yeah, that'd do it. Oh, they took that keep. I was going to go fix that too. Well, I guess I can fix it now. Otherwise, they're going to start getting down to the allied keep. Probably don't want that to happen. You know what? Throw out some magic. Why not? Look at those sick hand motions. You love to see it. Immediate 25, 50, 80, 90. Over 100 KOs in mere moments. You love to see it. All of you go away. Get lost. This abandoned fort is mine. You will not keep it. I'm going to run out of magic right here and blow all you up. Yeah, that'll do it. Get out of here, filthy traitors. Oh, there was a turncoat leader over there. Well, I activated the bird statue so we can go get him anytime. He just took forever to spawn for some reason. I had a lot of royal claymores in my inventory when I did Breath of the Wild and I didn't get a horse. Imagine how that must have been. Yeah, that would have been a lot of work for Link. Those claymores are not tiny from what I remember. Boom, out of here. Yo, I don't know why I just thought of this of all things about Breath of the Wild, but remember how you got to like have your own house in Breath of the Wild and you could like put up uh you could put up uh, weapons and stuff to display. I hope in Breath of the Wild 2 they have the same concept, but give us like a lot more control over like decorating the home and changing it up. That would be something, that would be a small thing that would be really neat to have. If you could like actually change, if you could get some heavy customization going and especially customization you could get from like finding stuff in the world and uh, that would make exploring that'd be a really good way to make the exploring in breath of the wild feel a lot more worth it to me if you could like uh, go to random really sick locations and then get like something for your house that'd be really cool i'd be down for that that'd be a nice little thing that doesn't seem like it'd be that hard to add in also die I love Link's usage with the gauntlets of just grabbing, like, earth and stones and throwing them. There you go, Nintendo, if you're watching this. I'm sure you are. Clearly, someone high up at Nintendo watches all my videos, of course. I gave you a free idea. Go deep on the being able to customize a home thing for Link in Breath of the Wild 2. In fact, if you really want to get crazy with it, just give us, like, an entire, like, town to build up and uh, improve upon. Like Colony 6 style from Xenoblade Chronicles. Except even more customization than Colony 6 had, because Colony 6 didn't really have customization. In it. You just got to build up the town in general. Give me building up a town like Colony 6, but then you have a home in it that you can customize out yourself. That's what I want. I love that execute move, it's so cool. Frederick, no! Eh, he'll probably be fun. 
There's a flag person right next to Frederick who could be helping him, but is not. And goodbye. And you're done as well. Goodbye. Coming up on that 2k KOs that I needed, and another turncoat leader is here, as expected. Hi, buddy. That's so awesome. I love this purple outfit for Link, too. Oh, there's a heart container. Thank goodness I found that, because I forgot about it. All right. I'm sorry, Frederick, but you're on your own, dude. Oh, did someone else beat the other turncoat leader for me? That was in here? Oh, it's just a soldier now. All right. Aw, oh, Midna, what are you doing? Why, why even bother? Like, you're not going to be any help. The most you can do is get in the way. I'm going to see if I can save Frederick. Is there time? Because I do still need, like, another 150 kills, because this weapon, I think, had a 2,000 thing. Which I'm pretty sure I've been told the 2,000 modifiers are normally bad. However, it makes the weapon worth more when you sell it. So may as well get it done. I got you, Frederick. You're welcome. Anytime, buddy. Anything for Ganondorf's best buddy. Alright, just make sure that we get 140 kills before beating whoever this commander is. That's all you gotta do. It's Zelda! I'm gonna beat up my girlfriend, basically. Pretty much what Link is doing right now. Please spawn some more enemies for me to kill. I need 52 more. Just gonna keep using this combo over and over again because it's really good for AoE. Alright, we basically got it. Yeah, we're good. Even if the only one we hit from here on is Zelda, that'll give us one more kill. Ow. Yeah, yeah, there's 2,000. Skill unlocked. What's the magic attack on this one? Oh, that's neat. Love that. Sorry, Zelda. It's over. All right, that went about as perfectly as it could have. stretch victory thy name is link the chain isn't even connected to the gauntlets I guess that makes sense yes <laughs> uh, these victory poses are great I win again. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my goodness, it's a chain chomp. Part of me hates it, and the other part of me think it's thinks it's hilarious. That is amazing. We got a Hillian shield there, nice. All right. Have I played as Volga? I played as Volga a little bit earlier. Hold up. I need a goddess harp. And then, actually, I think I have to do this. Yeah, because I gotta do this, too. Whoop. I'm, like, almost out of item cards. I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of buying. Koro, welcome to stream. How's it going? Defeat the Mountain Beast, so we gotta fight Margarok. Seems easy enough. Wait a minute, was there, uh... The only treasure are fairy things, which I don't care about. Alright, we just gotta get the Avery. Hopefully, Argarok does not drop his gold thing. I don't need more of his stone. I need his embers. Do you need his embers, actually? Yeah, you do. I need Argarok embers badly. Not wasting those. 
All right, Flesh Render Fang, let's get it. What a weird starting spot. Definitely get the Dark Fairy first. Defeat Midna! I'm on! Let me just make my way through all this. Oh, this is the one where, like, your captains flee and they get morale. Okay, yeah, I know what's going on. I get it. Don't mess with Volga, he's mad. A mad Volga is a scary Volga. I just realized that there are uh, statues. I should have turned that one towards that one on over there. Oh well. Turn this one on over here at least. After I take this keep, we're gonna take both of these keeps down here. Won't have to deal with enemies spawning here later. Oh no, item thief! That actually could be bad if he takes my. Uh... We gotta fight Argorok, so we don't want him to take the hook shot. success I've taken two of your keeps in the first like minute what success have you been having you're getting absolutely destroyed right now burn him up hi keep boss bye keep boss I know that this is fairy clothing so I don't care about it but I may as well while I'm here right oh never mind it's a boss key good thing I opened that <laughs> Insanely different from what I thought it was. This is why you always open chests. There's almost never a reason not to. Dude, the flesh render fang looks so cool. I love it. We'll put that dark knight here. I'm gonna kill him. Get him out of my twilight zone. This place belongs to me now. Why didn't the combo go through? I missed time to click or something? There we go. That was weird. Time to die. Ooh, man, that did a lot. I got you, Frederick. Don't worry. I got you, brother. Bum, 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 bum. Goodbye to both of you. It's gamer law to open every chest and break every object that's breakable. You right. I love that Volga turns into a giant dragon for the pure purpose of doing a nosedive into an explosion. No, like, trying to slash him as a dragon. No breathing fire or anything like that. Like, nah, dog. I'm just gonna blow up. What's up, Nero? Welcome to stream. How you doing, dude? Not Hillian Captain again. Is that Frederick's cousin? Frendrino? Their family was not very good with names. He just has to flex the dragon transformation. Honestly, I respect it. Goodbye. No more dark keep for you, buddy. It's the first thing you would do if you ran into a dungeon that is literally named the Bad Cave. Is this in a video game or in real life? Because it's if, in, if it's in real life, I would immediately turn around and leave the cave. If it was a video game, I would try to slaughter literally everything in the cave. Watching the Celtics playoff game, trying to advance to the conference finals. Ah, yes, sports ball. I too have heard of the sports ball. There's a unique enemy in the center spot? Was that enemy always there and I missed it earlier or did it show up later? Is this game any good? Uh, if you like warrior style games, it's very much a game that is only for a certain type of person. Either you like the warrior style gameplay loop, in which case this game is phenomenal, which I am one of those people. Or Warrior Styles games just aren't really your cup of tea, and therefore it's not really for you. 
I think it's very good because I like warrior style games. But it's not for everyone. in dark armor. You really think that you have a chance? Did you not see me turn into a dragon? Stop gaining morale. Oh, great. Now there's a Dynapos here. I'm gonna turn into a dragon again. Like, how do you see this and think, like, yeah, I can still take it? Like, what are you doing? Yo, that was a Dynapos arm gauntlet thing, which is good. But can I please get some Lizapos gauntlets for Link? Because that's what I really need. I should turn on this statue just in case. I've only got two keeps left to go, so that's pretty sick. Oh, it was in trouble right next to the thing that I didn't turn on earlier that I should have. Rip. Uh, I don't think I lose if Impa leaves, because she's not the... She's not the person with the, uh, the flag. So we're probably fine. Yeah, there she goes. There was no way I was getting to her anyways, even if I had booked it. Time to die. Hi, guys. This square is mine now. Please go away. Link is in danger. That sounds significantly worse than Impa being in danger. But also, I'm still not all that worried, to be honest. As long as they're not in my allied base. Ah, oh, there goes Link. You guys have been losing to Agatha? That's embarrassing. That's like, that's embarrassing for Impa and Link. Like, if I were them, I would, I would never come back. Like, if they didn't legitimately die, they should just hide themselves from the world for all eternity. Like, dying to Agatha, who isn't controlled by me, is just... It's an embarrassment, straight up. Yeah, give me that gold material, you piece of garbage. Like, did you see how easy that was? Is that a shield moblin that dropped that silver one there? Either way, a silver material... Honestly, like, getting silver materials from, like, Dark Nuts and Lizapos and Redeads and stuff is, like, in my experience, the hardest stuff to get material-wise. It's so unoften that they drop a silver one. I was watching your Cyber Smooth playthrough and finally realized Kentorismon is a pain. Oh, yeah, Kentorismon sucks in that game. <laughs> that is a really annoying boss. I mean, he's a cool Digimon, but as a boss in that game, he is mad annoying. Midna! Really think you stand a chance here, girl? Dude, we're making record time. We're not even at 10 minutes yet. <laughs> Although we do have to fight Argrok after this. I forgot. Go ahead and move myself over to this. So I may as well keep this magic for Argrok then. Although there was another cool magic thing there, so a bit of a waste, but whatever. Hey, die? Thank you. Midna is summoned to Argrok. That'll definitely work. Oh, and he's right next to the statue thing. Nice. Alright. Oh, hey, Argarok. How's it going? Oh, I was too slow. Oh, it's fine. He's giving me another shot. Come here, bud. Let's do this. Unfortunately, Argarok has, like, no lead-in to his weak gauge showing up. So I can't really try and prep the dragon move. But Volga's level 2 combo here just absolutely tears through bosses. As long as you don't slow down and you hit it non-stop, you almost always get the break. Oh my word, Argarok is dead. <laughs> yes, Argarok Embers, please. I need them. That was insanely fast. 
I almost feel bad for Argarok. He got absolutely decimated. How much time are we at? Just over three hours. I don't think I'm going to go for, a, for four hours today, but we'll probably go for about three and a half. Play a little bit longer, at least. Dragon Man beats Dragon. It's going to show up in the news. What is this weapon? Oh, Rudo's level three. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yo, I have not played as Young Link, like, at all yet. I need to buy some stuff. I don't want to buy too much because we're getting near the end of the thing. I think I'm going to need a power bracelet for this. Which one of these needs to be moved? That one. Move it. I think we played as Young Link at all today. There's also a Wizro piece of heart here. Master Quest rule, don't get hit. This is one of the most annoying rules in Master Quest. Actually, it's probably the most annoying. And we're going to have to do this level twice because we can only take one person, but we need two unique drops. What do you need? Goma's frigging acid, man. I am dying from my lack of Goma Acid. It's insane. Alright, well. Let's do this. Who is that emote of? Is that Naoto? In that emote, Travis? Or is it a character I don't recognize? Maybe. What's up, Darunia? Not getting hit is not going to be easy. Because I'm not very good at not getting hit. Although, with Young Link, it should be more plausible than it would be with some other characters. Why can't I? I was about to say, why can't I lock on to Oh, that's right. They give you the time things on this, too. Little watches that slow down time and also cause some lag. Gather round, all ye fools. You're gonna die. Please build up my power. With that 20%, this should be enough. Oh, let's go, boys. Fierce deity time. Time to die. Oh my word. So much death. Get that keep boss out of my face. Get this stupid Aerophos out of my face. There we go. Oh my word, there's still so many of you in here even though it's my keep. I need more things to hit. I need more things to hit. My magic's gonna run out. No! Rip. There weren't enough en enemies around there to build back up to another full thing. Unfortunately, lag. Woo! Bum, bum, bum. If all of you could drop dead again because you're already skeletons. Would be great, would appreciate it. Oh, the Western Room is gonna fall, huh? That's actually probably a problem. I remember watching your Spectrum's Origins playthrough, that brought back a lot of good memories. Spectrum's Origins was a really good game. Very fun. Hi, guys! Have you ever played any Mario games? Yeah. On the channel specifically or in general? In general, I've played a ton. On the channel, I've done Galaxy, Odyssey. I know I've done more than Galaxy and Odyssey. I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember the other ones I've done. Ah, dang it! All of the enemies are too spread away from one another for me to get enough... Enough kills. Oh, dude, perfect. SP full. Don't mind if I do. Get back up there and deal with that in a minute. I'm really worried about this Kuko. Kukos are normally really good at getting a sudden hit in. 
which is not good considering that if I take any damage, I like lose all my health. Oh, there's Wizro right there. What's he up to? Hi, Wizro. Oh, dang it. That attack came out so fast. Drink this. Oh, that also gave me enough power back. Good, good, good. Get back a little bit. Play. Oh, hello. Please don't. Please don't hit me. Just a second. I'll be right with you. All right. Here we go. Help my camera. Oh, Wizro! I hate you. You are a really annoying enemy to be fighting in this challenge. Oh, here we go. Get some time slowdowns on him. I should probably combo more often as Fierce Deity, but I feel like he just kills so fast with just the normal combo because it shoots out the giant lasers. Like, why would I not just spam that, you know? All right. Not quite all the way back up, but pretty close. That was a lot of KOs. They're doing really good at holding them up there, surprisingly. Hi, Braid Captains. I need you to go. This place belongs to me. Later. Which game is your favorite? What's my favorite Mario game? Odyssey. Followed very closely by Galaxy 2. Maybe not very closely. Nah, I'd say very closely. I really love Galaxy 2. I really need to do a playthrough of it sometime soon. All right. Also, I want to go ahead and deal with these guys up here right now because we don't have any of the bird statues to use. So it would be really annoying to go all the way to the bottom and then have to run all the way back up to the top. Don't mind me. Magic. Get out of here, keep boss. My keep. Oh, don't lose my magic. Hi, guys! There are a lot of you here, I can't help but notice. Get up here. Get these hits. Use the Triforce! Oh, dude, we already built up another magic thing. Or not magic, but another special bar, which is magic for Young Link. Dead. Come here, Aeropost. I don't want to use my magic on him. Because there aren't enough enemies up here to be able to rebuild it. Oh no. Really worried about getting hit right here. There we go. Everybody gangster until Link goes purple. I know, right? I liked the planet bomb mode in uh, Origins. The boss was just really annoying. The planet itself I thought was fine. It had some really cool spectrobes on it. Some of which I wish had just shown up earlier in the game, honestly, so I could have used them more. But the boss was definitely like the most annoying boss in the game, basically. What are you all doing here? I haven't taken too much damage, have I? No. I think you have to take over 200 damage to miss an A rank. Maybe. I don't have to... All I have to do is get an A rank. The only chest item was for Wizro, and I'm not Wizro, so... I don't have to worry about finding the chest. This way... I have to fight a... I don't think I have to fight a giant boss. I just have to beat the enemy commander. Oh, the friggin' Kuko. I don't want anything to do with that. Just go to the commander and end it. I should go ahead and do this before I get too close. I like that the Fierce Deity mask is, like, glowing purple. As I run around. Oh, it's Rudo. Hi, Rudo. I'm here to beat you up. You know how it be. Anger. This is my mad face, and I am now going to destroy you. How 
how dare you exist? Oh my goodness, my camera. I cannot even give you an opportunity to attack because then I would be screwed. By the way, I'm going to cut the moon in half. Don't mind me. You didn't need that moon, did you? Nice. And you are donezo. All right. Only got hit once in that entire thing. Got a gold item from Rudo. Not bad. Yeah, just casually cutting the moon in half. Just young Link things. That's how it'd be. Hey, heart container. Isn't Young Link's third weapon somewhere on this map? I think it is. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Keep that. So many light and darkness. Don't want heart power. All right, that'll do. Yo, 76K, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna guess that I need to search right here with the digging mitts. Ah, oh, whoever could have predicted. Gotta play as Lana for that. Recommended lightning. I might, as much as I love the summoning gate, I might actually use the book on that one. Huh. <sighs> Ugh. I gotta get his level 3 weapon there, too. Let's get Impa's level 3 weapon, and we also have to find a level 3... Or we have to find a uh, heart container chest. Alright. Oh, no! No guarding! Whatever will I do? Any good game recommendations? Uh, I... What do you... You gotta give me something to go off of. Oh, you need Argrog Embers, of which I only have one. May as well. Like, what, uh, what kind of stuff do you like to play? Oh, I'm out of Argrox Stones, too. What, like, genres do you enjoy, and what consoles do you have access to? May as well do this. RPG, JRPG, stuff like that. You got a, uh... You got a, uh, Nintendo Switch? Would incredibly, insanely recommend what I consider to probably be the best video game ever created. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Definitive Edition. Came out earlier this year, if you haven't already played it. Cannot recommend that game enough. Absolutely love it. I would probably even be willing to say it is a must for JRPG fans. Let's do this. Oh, is this a uh, save the people thing? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Sheik is not super high on my... Uh... Oh, dang it. I'm fighting Zant, one of the only characters in the game I want to guard against, and I can't guard. Oh, yeah, I would insanely recommend Xenoblade Chronicles. It is fantastic. I think you'll love it. Of course, I think basically anyone that likes JRPGs would love it because it's just... I, I could wax lyrical about that game for days. It has very, very few negative points in my eyes. And even the, any negative points it does have are very minimal. IMO. Story, characters, gameplay, exploration, so on, so forth. All just S tier. Come on, Zant. Come on, Zant. Just go down. I'm very bad at playing as Impa, too, because I don't make enough use of her, uh, her strong attacks as I should. 
Zant, what are you where are you going? I was just activating the darkness for you. You ain't getting me with that. You ain't getting me with that, nerd. Okay, so do you like Xenoblade Chronicles 1 or Xenoblade Chronicles X exploration better? It's been a long time since I played X. I don't think I've played X since, like, the year it came out, which was, what, 2014? 2015? Where did I make my... How old is my channel? Because it was, uh, fairly early on in my channel that I did that. On a scale of 1 to Zant, how much do you want to wreck Zant? A lot. I want to say Xenoblade 1, because I think Xenoblade 1 has, like, the perfect amount of, like, cool exploration that you also get benefit from, because when you explore and find stuff, you get, like, AP, SP experience, etc. While also having enough linearity to, like, push you forward in the game at the same time. But, uh... You know, Xenoblade X was made for exploration and all that, and flying around in a skell in Xenoblade X is really cool. Not gonna lie, it's pretty sick. But I think I just like the exploration style of Xenoblade 1 more, where it's not, like, the primary focus, but, like, with secret areas and all that, you really get a lot out of it. It's just kind of, like, more of what I want to see, really, in most games, if not all games, I play, to be honest. Of course, all this is said with the understanding that the exploration in Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade X are both fantastic. Just absolutely great. Exploring in both of those games is very, very fun. And very well done. Least favorite boss in any game... I have no idea. I don't even... Like, um, without being prompted with a specific game's boss, I can't even begin to think of what game I've played that had a boss I hated it enough to be like, this is the worst one I've ever had to do in any video game. I just... I can't think of something like that off the top of my head. Ooh, that was a nicey big Poe thing. Nice. All these cuckoos on my side, dude. Can't be stopped. I rescued my ally. Good job, me. Good job, me. Pat on the back. Yeah, call for support, cuckoos. Keep them coming. We gotta take some time to get these other keeps because I am short like 500 KOs. Oh, we must be against Sia, because this music, I'm pretty sure, only plays if Sia is your your commander you have to beat. <laughs> I've just realized that uh, Sheik only has two on her special bar. Excuse me? I still have characters in this game that don't have all three special bars. That's insane. <laughs> that needs to be fixed somehow. Bye, guys. Yeah, I'm still trying to think, and I just can't think of, like, a boss that I really, really hated off the top of my head. Part of the thing is, is that, like, I'm sure there are a couple of games I've played where it's had a boss in it that I've just hated, but it's probably from a game that I hated. So I probably only ever played the game once, and therefore it just doesn't really stick in my mind because it was a game I didn't like, so I don't, you know... I can't just, uh, immediately conjure it up in my mind. Sheik might have my favorite normal combo in the game. It's definitely up there. Like, I love that combo. Just pressing Y the whole way. Which probably isn't good for playing as Sheik, because I definitely don't use her strong attack near enough. But I like it. It's fine because I don't play as Sheik often. I do still need like 300 KOs though. 
they took one of my peeps? Honestly impressive. Outside of the Fire Ruins boss, which are your least favorite boss in Spectrum's Origins. First boss is fine, second boss is fine, third boss is the coolest one, fourth boss is pretty sick, fifth boss is the most annoying, Crux and Jado are fine. Uh, I don't really dislike any of the bosses other than the Bogmus boss, but if I had to pick one, probably the very first boss, because you only have two adult Spectrobes when you fight it the first time, which can be pretty annoying. I pressed the button to use the bone arrow, but it didn't go through, so that's... It doesn't really matter, but that was weird. This guy is so bulky, I need you to stop. Oh wow, I got those last like 400 kill or 300 kills I needed really quick. We're only 50 away. Go, there we go, that's weird. Sheik doesn't like using the bow. Silver? Dang it. Hi guys! Bye guys, I need to be beating you inside this room. Actually, the key boss is already here. Later. here, huh? Nowhere near fast enough on that. I love that execute move. It is so sick. Got it. Perfect. Excellent even. Jotto can be pretty annoying. I remember having a lot of trouble with Jotto when I was younger. But I mean, it's hard for a late game boss other than the bomb mode boss to be really annoying because by then you have six fully evolved Spectrobes. By the time you get to Jotto especially, you have six fully evolved Spectrobes. By the way, that was another silver, let's go. You have six fully evolved Spectrobes who probably all have their unique uh, energy attack or whatever it is to be able to hit Jotto with. Makes it a lot more doable than some of the others where you might not have that luxury. Alright, we got enough KOs. Let's beat Sia and get out of here. What's up, girl? How you doing? Darkness! I should not be using darkness against you. I should be using the light element. Is that the level 5? Yeah, there we go. And let there be lights! Is this hurting you at all? I can't tell. That hurt you a good deal. Hey, stop what you're doing there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nailed it. That's what you like to see. Hey, take this. I cannot believe that my Sheik does not have the level 3 thing. Also, C is taking so little damage. There must not be another boss after this, which is good. I don't know how much time I have right now. Might have answered this, but I'm going in and out of stream due to the game. But are you going to get the Breath of the Wild Hyrule Warriors game? Oh, yeah, we talked about that a lot at the start of stream. Uh, absolutely. Like, anything that has Hyrule Warriors on the title, I, I'm going to buy a day of release. So I'll definitely be playing that as soon as it comes out. It comes out, like, nine days after Melody of Memory. So I'll play Melody of Memory, hopefully get pretty far in it, if not beat it in about a week, and then play uh, Hyrule Warriors right after that. I don't think Melody of Memory will be a super long game anyway, so it'll probably work out pretty well, actually. Sia, stop having super arm. It's very rude of you. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that right now. Oh, right, there we go. Oh, she's immediately getting it back up, though. But you're done. Goodbye. Are you still alive? What the heck? There we go. How did you live on, like, one hit? That's crazy. Not a weapon. I don't think I need many C items right now anyway. I might need more of her bracelets. I'm not sure. You suggest buying Hyrule Warriors now, even though it's an older game? Yeah, absolutely. If you like Warrior-style games, or if you think that you might like Warrior-style games, this is, like, the perfect game to find out if you would or not, I think. 
I mean, I've only played this. This is the only Warrior Style game I've played, so. But I have heard it's one of the better ones. <laughs> but if you have, like, any interest in Warriors games or trying one out or whatever, absolutely highly recommend Breath of the Wild. Or not Breath of the Wild. I keep saying Breath of the Wild. Highly recommend Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Switch. It has, it has a, it actually, this game has a really good story mode too. Like a really nice story mode throughout it that's really fun. And then it has just so much, it's pretty much the same gameplay loop because that's how Warriors games are. But uh, all of the, there are so many adventure maps and so many like bonus challenge things you can do and stuff like that. There's so much of the game to play. Like if you really enjoy this game and just like to keep playing it, then you can sink hundreds of hours into this game and still have more stuff to do in terms of like completionist stuff. So would highly recommend. Triforce Harp. It looks really cool. I like it. Heard sales of this game increased after the Age of Calamity reveal. Oh, yeah. I saw on Twitter that, like, on Amazon, it had, like, a 2,000% increase in sales or something. Which isn't, like, a concrete number of how many sales it's getting, but that's still still a crazy number. It's insane. I do not want to play as Tingle today. Because we're probably going to do one more level and then wrap up. We're at about three and a half hours now. Uh, what level do I want to end on? I don't want to play as Impa again. Yeah, let's play as Lana. Knock this one out and then probably call it a day, chat. Friggin' Argarok Embers, dude. They're killing me. It says to use lightning, but... The summoning gate, though. I can't help myself. The summoning gate is possibly the most fun weapon in the game. It's definitely up there. It's one of the most fun, for sure. Well, this is a quiz. Maybe I should have done the book, actually. The summoning gate isn't quite as good. Uh, oh, no, no, it's not a quiz. It's a uh, defeat every enemy, so it'll still be pretty useful. We're good. Not as many enemies at a time as I would like. Oh, these guys are made of paper mache. That is not what I wanted to do. But here we are. I must live with the consequences. This must be a low level, a low level thing. These guys are dying way too easily. I jumped into his attack after I killed him. That's pretty sick. You know what I might do, chat? Actually, since this is, uh, we're gonna be a tiny bit of a shorter stream today, I might just go and uh, record some more Mega Man Battle Network after this. Cause I need to record more. I don't have any in the backlog right now. I might go do that after stream. Is it the same enemies again? Get out of here. Jado was in Spectrobes Beyond the Portals as well. He was a big antagonist in Spectrobes Beyond the Portals, and then uh, they used him again in Origins, yeah. He wasn't in the first game. Crux was also not in the first game. He was in the second and third, which was Beyond the Portals and Origins. A little too forceful. Just a little bit, Lana. You are so adorable. Please switch to the other Deku Baba. Why? Hello? Oh, it was there for a second. There we go. That was weird. Don't know what the deal was there. This is such a strangely easy map. Like, there are so few enemies, and they're all made of paper mache. I don't understand why. Because, I mean, this wasn't at, like, the entrance of the map or anything. It's at the top right, which is pretty far away. Yeah, that, that did it. Oh, no, you're still alive. What the heck? Get out of here. There we go. That was weird. But, hey, whatever. We got it. I'll probably do one more map on top of that. Because that was really quick. Let's knock out one more. Ooh, who's that costume for, actually? Who's the costume for? I need to know. Got 
got a lot more weapons than I realized. Lana's standard outfit master quest. Ooh, I want to see that. I'm just going to open this up again real quick just so I can see the outfit easily. Yeah, I don't have any outfits on you, really. Oh, dude, it's like a Sia colored. Oh, that's so good. It's way better than the green one. Oh, that's amazing. I love that a lot. That is fantastic. Big fan of that. Oh, we haven't played a Skull Kid yet today either. Let's play a Skull Kid. Yeah. Let's friggin' do it. Guard the Allied Keeps with your life. Oh, this is another short one, isn't it? Where you just have to kill, like, eight specific enemies real fast. Eight or ten. I want a long map to end on. I don't want to end on any of these short ones. All right, let's do this. Defend them at all costs. Get out of your shield, Moblin. You're dead. Do I need Moblin spears? Probably. I think the only silver material that I'm, like, really good on right now when it comes to normal enemies are, uh, the Dynapos arm things. Have a lot of those lying around. But it looks like the game's just gonna give me a bunch of weapons. Are oh, there only four enemies? There are only six to kill? This is gonna take long at all. Because they're all up here. If I can just get to them fast enough, hopefully before that keep at the bottom right goes down. All right, we might do one more map after this because this is not going to take long at all. In fact, it's definitely not going to take long at all because I thought that this spot was blocked off from the other shield moblins, but now I see I can actually get to them. It's just going to take a minute. Not even a minute. I just have to go a little roundabout. Oh, one of them dropped a material, but it wasn't even a silver. Waste of time. Oh no, a messenger! Whatever shall I do? Maybe I'll beat the last two enemies that I have to beat to end the map. That might do it. Yeah, that'll do it, all right. That, that was a joke. What is with all these easy maps at the top right? Was I supposed to come to the top right first or something? Because it start, uh, starts you at the bottom middle. Yeah, fork over that red and gold chest. Give me that heart container. Easiest heart container of Skull Kid's life. What are the names of the fairies? It's like Tail and Tattle, I think. They just hanging around. Where did I take one damage at? I don't even know what hit me that did that. Huh. I do not want to end the stream by playing as Agatha or Tingle. Don't really want to play as one of the Wind Waker characters either. I wish I had Young Links available to me. Ugh, not Midnight. Oh, there are just no good options. Who do I have to play as here? V? Man, next time I stream this, we're going to have quite a few map levels that I don't want to do that have to get done. Let's just do this. I need a whatchamacallit. Give me this power bracelet. Nice. Fight as a warrior of lightning, and it's a speed run. Okay, so if it's a speed run, this must be a normal level. Let's do this one as Impa again, or Sheik again, not Impa. Do this one as chic, and then probably call it a day, chat. Yeah, we'll, by the time we finish this, we'll be at about four hours. That's longer than the usual Hyrule Warrior stream, so that works. Here we go. Definitely just want to take 
this keep right here so it will no longer be a problem. Don't want any enemies spawning out of this or anything. I just, dude, Sheik's just basic Y combo is so fluid. I love it. Big fan. Ooh, hello. I need to find a heart container, don't I? Yep, and there it is. Sick. Now I don't have to worry about finding anything. I'm pretty sure. Unless we need a boss key. Goodbye to all of you. Get out of here. Oh, there are fortifier captains? Come on, man. I ain't got time for that. I need to look at what material specifically I'm missing to get you three on the special bar. Because you only having two on the special bar is kind of an embarrassment. I don't think there's any other character like that. Maybe, like, Tetra or Daphnis still don't have their third one. But other than maybe the... Also, I just saw that fortifier captain run by. I should probably go stop him. But also at the same time, what if I just kill everything that's in front of me instead? You guys trying to, like, slip through the bars here? What are you doing in this corner? Look at, dude, they had, literally had a straight-up line of Bokoblins. That was amazing looking. No, you're not. You ain't getting me with that, you stupid, fiery Aeropos. Get out of here. You are a disgrace. Oh, hey, there's the Fortifier Captain. Hey, you. You're going to the keep that I'm about to take. That's perfect. Actually, I'm going to let you get in there real quick. Then I can, like, break up the place by killing you in it. That'll, instead of helping fortify it, you'll actually make it easier to break it. Well, there's another fortifier captain. Were there two of them, or are you the one that was running by a minute ago? Well, you're dead now. Oh, no, you're not. That's the other one I killed. Where is this outpost camp? Oh, he's right there. Help my eyes. Later. I am amazing, Darunia. Thank you for pointing it out for everyone who wasn't aware. All right, well, let's take this keep real quick. Hello. What do you mean withdrew from the front lines? I killed him. He's dead. You can't withdraw if you're dead. That's not what withdrawing means. Later. Enemies aren't too difficult in this, so even though it's a full map, we're going to be getting through this pretty speedily. <laughs> Although those elemental barriers are set up really annoying. The light fairy is in the water fairy, or the water barrier one, and the water fairy is further away than either the light or the water barrier. Of course, I could easily take them without even needing to bother with the fairy, to be honest. can't believe I got out of that. How did this work out so well? Aiden, welcome to stream. Just turned 21 as of four days ago. Dude, happy belated birthday. Assuming it's you, unless you're pulling some kind of a, a crazy joke on me. Happy belated birthday, though, man. Hope you had a good one. What on earth are all these Bokoblins doing? Hiding behind this this fence bar, iron, iron bar, whatever. All right, get these guys out of here. And then there are still a couple of enemies chilling around in here. I should probably like take this outpost. In fact, it, yeah, there are some unique enemies down there causing some issues. I should take them out. Goodbye, Silver Kuko. Temporarily. What are all the enemies over here causing problems? Oh, some freaking raid captains. Get out of here. Goodbye. Oh, I gotta save them. I saved them. Let's go. Get these fools out of here. Can I get some re-dead knight ashes here? Some silver re-dead knight stuff? Oh, weapon. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. There are 
a lot of enemies around here. No wonder they were having trouble. I mean, they almost killed that Redead on their own. He was really low on health when I got here. So, you know, kudos for that. They should be good now. Is there another unique enemy coming up right here? What the heck, dude? I just took that outpost. You're making more work for me. Stop that. Oh, skill unlock. Nice. No, you don't. Goodbye. I am very excited for the new Hyrule Warriors game. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping it's good. I got some, not like high hopes, but some pretty decent hopes for it. Hoping for the best. I'm going to go up the secret path here because, yeah, there are raid captains coming out of here so I can kill them on the way. And then we've got this spot down here on lock. All of the south belongs to us after I take this outpost. There's barely any red dots left even. Where's the silver cuckoo at? That he keeps retreating. Honestly, screw it. I'm just going to take this place. Oh, hi, Silver Kuko. I'll just take some damage here. No big deal. He's the key boss. Where is he? He's right there. Got him. Advancing on Darunia? Good luck. Why does Darunia need me to keep him safe? He's freaking Darunia. He should be fine on his own. I want to kill the Silver Cuckoo before it can cause any more issues. Mostly because it shouldn't take very long. Oh, dude, they're sending like a ton of enemies down this ramp right here. I should stop that. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't realize you were sending that many dudes to Darunia. That's a bit much even for him. In fact, I'm going to finally use one of the combos here and lightning it up. Should kill stuff a lot quicker, hopefully. Ow. And goodbye. Can't touch this. Zippity zappity. Get out of here, Gibdo. You're not a Gibdo, you're re-dead. But get out of here anyway. Honestly, I probably should have used my magic here, but too little, too late. Sounds cool, Aid. See you later, Allo. Thanks for coming to stream. Hopefully you can catch another one. Have a good day and all that. We're going to be wrapping up pretty soon here anyway, as soon as... Oh, that hit me! Disagree. We're going to be wrapping up pretty soon here, as soon as I can get this map done. Did he die to that? I think he did. What the heck is going on in here? Another Redead is in here? Are you kidding me? Where do they all keep coming from? Do I have to fight a boss? After the enemy commander? I don't think I do. I'm getting a little low on time to be wasting. I'm kind of like taking my time and doing some extra fights here I don't need to be because this is the last one to stream. Debating on buying Hot War Warriors or the new Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Hard choice. I can't really help you make a decision there. I was never into Tony Hawk or anything like that. So that is all on you and your preferred game, my dude. All I can say is that Hyrule Warriors is a ton of fun. I like it a lot, and it's got a lot of content. I have heard that the uh, Pro Skater uh, thing is pretty darn good, though. From the little bit I've seen on Twitter, at least. What did you say? Sounds cool, Aid? Oh, I'm pretty sure I said sounds cool, dude, but I might have said it very fast. Oh, I failed to defeat the Silver Cuckoo. Now it'll become unstoppable. They made a sequel to this. Would you play it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm really hoping that Age of Calamity sells insanely well, and then they do make a sequel of this. That would be amazing if Age of Calamity does so good sales-wise that... Nintendo is like, hey, we'll let you make a sequel to Hyrule Warriors. 
That would be awesome. I would love that. That's the dream. Ooh, it's been a hot minute since you've been here. The last stream you saw was Spectrobes or Pokemon Conquest, Aiden. I finished those playthroughs a while back. I don't remember exactly, but it's, it's been a couple of months at least. Mikey! Just in case we do, I've got four minutes. I should probably just go ahead and beat up Volga. Oh, Volga's weak, weak to lightning for some reason in this game, which this weapon is classified as lightning, so shouldn't be too hard. That is darkness, not lightning. That is lightning. Take this, Volga, you stupid dragon, you. Wood style. Deep Forest Emergence. Get destroyed. Come on, Volga. Like, what, what are you even bothering for, my dude? We're not quite going to get level 53, unfortunately. Unless there is a boss after this. Which I suppose is always possible. Oh, I just got Sheik's level 3 weapon, didn't I? And I'm not, I'm not even using it, because I wasn't even thinking about it. We'll worry about that later. There we go. Yep, that was the end of it. Easy. What weapons do you think Link will have in Age of Calamity? Oh, dude, I have no idea. There are so many options. There's, like, no way to know. Obviously, the Master Sword. But other than that... Probably, like, one of each weapon type. Like, Spear, Claymore, whatever else was in that game. It's been a minute. Darunia's Master Quest outfit. Alright, cool. I really quickly... Yeah, let me see Darunia's... I'm not going to do this mission, but I want to see Darunia's outfit before we go. Master Quest. Oh, it's Dark Darunia. I love it. I love it. Dark Darunia. Set him to that. And we'll get to use that some other time. How much percentage do we get to today? 72%. I wanted to get over 70%, and we did it. Not bad. How many, like... There's still a lot to do on the left over there. Like that, all those darked out areas. There's quite a lot there. And then there are a couple of spots here and there that uh, I haven't done. Like, I haven't done this or this one. Uh, these two right here aren't done. There, there are a couple thrown about that I uh, just didn't get to, like the stupid Agatha one. And then we just got like the very top right corner. Oh, that's Twilight Midnight, and then that's got to be the Rapier or the Dominion Rod. I think that's the Dominion Rod. I'm pretty sure we have the level three Rapier and Baton. Oh, then, and then we still have these two like right here. The Tingle one, and then a Tetra Map. Next Hyrule Warrior stream is going to be a lot of playing as characters I'm not as big a fan of. We got to, like, play as the Wind Waker characters a lot, which I don't dislike them. They're just, like, they're, like, at the bottom of my mid-tier list, basically. But we got to do a lot of, like, Tingle, Midna, and Agatha maps, unfortunately, because I keep putting them off. So probably when we come back next time, we'll knock out the top right, knock out a lot of these uh, off-to-the-edge ones, so that we can kind of focus in on only having to do the left side. I think we're probably two streams away we're at 72%, so we need 28 more percent. So yeah, 14% twice. We're probably about two Hyrule Warrior streams away from finishing the third adventure map, which is pretty sick, not gonna lie. There's still so many more to do, though. Although I'm pretty sure after the first four maps, the other maps are a bit smaller, all things considered. Like, isn't this one like... Oh, I forgot that it would tell me this stuff about it. I shouldn't have clicked into this. I shouldn't have clicked into this. My bad. This music is sick, though. No, I didn't mean to do this. It was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. Okay, no, this map actually still has, like, the same amount of stuff. I lied. I think it's, like... I think it might be, like, the Twilight map, or maybe it's the Termina map. Yeah, I think the Majora's Mask map is, like, smaller than the other ones. I don't remember. 
I don't remember. But anyways, we're done for today. We're done for today. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to try and catch these live or anything else I stream, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate the support either way. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>